Hey everybody, got everything set up alright, just give me a minute. Alright fellas, welcome, welcome. Hey Leighton. Hey Shib. Hey Otto. Hey Clay. We're going to be doing some Zero to Hero Cleric today. Uh, don't mind the stuff in my stash. This is all for, probably for giveaway stuff. I just need a clear space. I thought about whether I wanted to do a permadeath type Zero to Hero Cleric run. But I am going to opt instead to play more legitimately. As in, we're going to be going for building up kits and using our gold. Instead of just going all in on one kit, the goal is going to be to build multiple kits. And, you know, if we die, still having backups here. I think this is probably better. Now, that said, my perks and skills and spells are going to be the same of the video I released today. So, we're going to be running Perseverance, Weapon Mastery, Advanced Healer, Protection from Evil, Smite, and then our spells... Uh, we are one knowledge short at the start, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to just not worry about Bless, and we'll just hope we find a knowledge. I think that's fine. I don't think there's... I'm not really worried about having this anything different. I'm sure we'll find at least one knowledge while we're playing. That's not really an issue. Hey, so that's how you doing. All right. So that said, there really isn't much I can do until we start getting gear. I think we just go ahead and get started, and we'll just go from there. We got to get at least one successful game in first. Uh, this is going to be completely high roller as well. I'm not going to do any normals, just there's no reason to. We are in Pathfinder as well, so I imagine we'll be finding some pretty geared players, especially this late into wipe. We might we might take some deaths just from getting out geared in the beginning. That's just kind of natural with how this game goes, but if we do, we do. It's not a big deal. Alright, so good. Yep, let's go. Cool. We are going to be very, very undergeared compared to our, compared to these lobbies today. It's going to be rough. I already know. Until we get at least a little bit of starter gear, it's going to be a little bit tough. But we'll make do. Man. Can we please give Cleric Staff Mastery? Oh my god, I would love that. <laughs> please. That would be so great. Yeah, man, I, I'd be okay with that. Hey, Blim. Hey, good to see you, man. Yeah, I know my sleep, my uh, stream schedule is a little bit wonky. Sometimes I do it later in the day. Sometimes I do it earlier. But at least we're here now, right? Honestly, a big part of it was just waiting for updates. Recently, like, we've been, you know, between the rollbacks, the uh, server issues, etc. We've just been having a lot of issues. So I, th I think it's been okay to take a little bit of a little bit of a break. To not burn out on the game while we wait for all the stuff to change. Marketplace is a big one for me personally, too. Hoping this chest is unlocked. Oh, you moved really so fast. I feel like the first game or two is always the roughest. I think just getting out of starter kit gear is like the most important thing that you can do. So I'm not planning on doing any serious PvP in the at least the first game. We need to at least get like some starter gold. So we're not completely useless in our fights. 
And I always recommend that every time I make a new character, or even if it's not a new character, if you're just starting at level one, it's just always important to do, I think, personally. It is very difficult to kill players with starter gear if they're geared, unless you have a class advantage, and I don't think Cleric has a class advantage on that many classes, except maybe PDR Fighter. But even PDR Fighter, I think, is not super... Like, when you're starter gear, it doesn't matter. Like, PDR Fighter can still kill you, absolutely. Thoughts on the Goblin Cave? I think we could use a little bit more portals in Goblin Caves. I think we're a little bit low right now. I think. At least one or two more blue portals I would go a long way. You got the Voyager 1, and once I put... Yeah. Yeah, grinding for AP became a lot harder once the rotation came into the game. So I, I do feel for you. Love videos, saw my VOD of the quarterstaff mage. Yeah, man. I think, yeah, towards the end when I decided to start using the crossbow throwing knife, I think the gameplay just became generally better. Just because of how strong ranged is in this game in general. So if I were to play more wizard, I would definitely go with that for sure. And uh, yeah, the cleric, I feel like the cleric PvP went really well for today's video. Uh, part of it is because I was off stream. I've mentioned it before. I think I play better off stream than on stream because I don't have to worry about focusing on like chat and you know just in general it's just easier, you know. Not to say I can't do well on stream, but I I think my off stream gameplay is significantly better. But I don't know. it's hard to say. If it, it feels that way to me at least. Teaming. Uh, I see a little bit of teaming here and there, but it's not super crazy. At least not in Goblin Caves. It's a lot of speed loss, to be honest. It's not really great, but I can drop the I can drop the frock if I wanted to. It's really not super great stats. It just gives us more speed. Yeah, we'll just drop that for now. Speed is what's important for Cleric. If you don't have good speed, then you're, you're kind of screwed. It's just, it's the most important stat. It's basically, it's magic damage, number one, and then speed, number two. Those are the two stats you really need to focus on when you're playing this class. Because you don't, we don't have range, you know? We don't have range and we don't have a, we don't have a sprint ability that lets us just catch anyone in the game. It's not quite that easy. So, I think having your build tailored towards move speed is just very important. If I can go this first game without having to PvP completely, that would be great. I don't know if it's going to happen, but if if it ends up working out that way, I'm going to do it so we can at least get some starter money. I absolutely do not want to fight people with a gray flange mace. I think I will lose that fight. I'll, I'll, I'll do it if I have to, <laughs> but it, it's probably not going to go well for me. You can find a better weapon or a staff, but it's really hard to find magic staffs in your games, I've noticed. Very, very hard. Um, I could go this way. I think I might go in towards the prison area. The crates, if, if no one's in there looting, it would be a good place to go for the first game. Just depends on spawns. There is someone that can spawn in prison. I actually see that door open. So someone might be in here. Okay, they are in here. Again, very first game. I don't want to fight him unless I have to. So I'm going to go a different way for now. Uh, I think priority number one is after we get a successful extraction it's just going to be buying a decent magic staff it doesn't even have to be purple it could be even green or blue is perfectly acceptable we just we need something really anything and then once we get to that point where we have a staff for our smite i will feel significantly more confident in pvp Having a club would also be nice. 
but it's not required. You know, I can I can kill players without the use of a club. It's nice having it as a secondary, but I I'll be okay without it if need be. Uh, that you know, we we should probably take any raw gear that we can. It's not terrible. Loose uh, loose trousers are very very good for clear. <laughs> Might be better with the torch tonight. You know what's funny is you're not completely wrong. The uh, flames base is really not good at all. It's one of the worst weapons, and it's not just the range the flames base has. A big part of it is the weak spot. It does not take very much space in your mace to deal just significantly reduced damage when you're playing. It really doesn't take much, uh, which is a big reason why I, I don't respect this weapon really at all. Now, because it's Goblin Cave, I have a feeling that we probably are going to have to fight someone this first game. But it's okay, you know, do it if we have to. It's, I think it's kind of hard, unless we go to a, uh, an extraction point where no one happens to come there, that would be okay. But it's, it's, it's RNG at that point if someone ends up running into us or not. Oh yeah, dude. I know. The flange base is, it's, it's, cry it's crying, for sure. Flange base is just sad, man. It's such a sad weapon. I don't care about temp tempo armor. It's too slow. I don't even want this. Yeah. And it's it's way too slow. I don't think building PDR cleric and solos is worth it right now, to be honest. I think it's just a waste of stats unless you're like unless you're really high on stats. Like it's gotta be like it's gotta be good. <laughs> it has to be good. And I don't think uh, we're not anywhere near that point yet. Search gets nice. Plane, uh, I don't know about that one yet. I don't know if plane base is quite bis. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's uh, it's a weapon, <laughs> but bis? That's a that's a crazy claim that I would disagree with pretty heavily. Got to be very careful here. I'm telling you, this first game is by far the scariest game. I hate, I hate being starter kit cleric. And we cannot get jumped or we'll lose. Oh, I know, man. Oh, I know. We need to get we need to get rid of this disgusting mace, and we need to get a real a real cleric weapon <laughs> for sure. That's that's priority number one, man. Believe me, I know. It's it's always the first game that's the toughest. Oh, someone's in here, aren't they? Yeah, someone's in there. A little bit sad that someone's in there because we could have taken the extract but it's still we still had a little bit of time before the uh, static start to open too did you hear someone fighting okay so here's the question which direction do we want to go Is there any chance that I'm able to get that static extract and he just doesn't come back? It's possible. I 
I think our best bet is just to get a safe extraction here at the end of the game. I think this is the right call. Alright, I'm gonna just chill here. We're gonna take a nice little safe extract here. Wait for it to open. Hopefully that guy doesn't come back. We'll just chill right here. Alright. So after this game, I got plenty of gold here. Close the door. It's too late. Now we're good. Alright, GG. First game done. That's that's what we needed. We needed that one first game extraction. That's the most important thing. Alright, cool. That works out. Alright, now we can start focusing on getting a starter kit together. Uh, I need to keep in mind that I have 283 gold for buying additional gear. So just self-note that I do have extra that I need to make sure I don't spend. Uh, okay, I should probably see what of this stuff is worth selling and what is not. I'm, I'm used to just kind of vendoring all extra gear, but it might not be all completely useless. So give me a second to just figure out what I want to keep and what I don't. So I know Falchion will sell, Armet might sell. I don't think Barbucci will sell. We'll trash this. All right, so I'll take a quick look here in the marketplace. We'll figure out if this stuff sells or not, and then we'll keep going. I'll purchase a magic staff, uh, and we'll try to start snowballing from there. That's kind of the goal. Okay, Falchions are pretty cheap right now, surprisingly. That's really not even that much. Yeah, Armet, I'm not selling anything for less than 100 gold. That's <laughs> That would just be silly. There's no reason for that. Okay, I'm not going to sell that either. And our mat. I'm keeping in mind of these prices too. So we know what is going to be worth selling and what is not. Okay, so all this stuff is not worth it. It's probably because it's also blue quality too. I might have just searched up the same item twice because I'm dumb. I think I did. <laughs> I think I just looked up the same item. By I think I did by accident. Hold up. Yeah, I needed to look up Stiletto. Yeah, even Stiletto doesn't seem great. And these have been here for a while, too. Yeah, it's going to get vendored as well. It's just not worth it. Alright. So, remember, we started with 280 gold. So, we're sitting at, well, 280 gold total. So, what do I want to prioritize? Uh, first things first, let's try to get a Magic Staff. Uh, I can't afford a purple one, but I will be able to afford a cheaper quality, which is okay. Uh, probably just going to go with a blue. I think the blue is worth the difference in damage, but the green, yeah, it's, it's probably not worth it there. Really just any of them. So I'll just look for one with the better stats. Uh, magic healing is not bad because we are going to be healing with the staff as well. And this is okay. Right. So most of our gold for our first game is going to go towards the staff for sure. Uh, we have, what, like 80 gold left, so we'll buy a little bit of healing. We already have a campfire. I think one should be enough. And I think we can just keep the rest of this stuff on us. Go to the weaponsmith as well. Yeah, we'll just buy a, a base club for PvE. Makes our life a little bit easier. Yeah, this is fine. All right, first game success. We have a starter blue staff. We have okay gear, nothing too crazy. To be honest, the hound skull's not great. It's too slow. Oh, you know what? Lizard skin. Lizard skin. Okay. All right, fixed, fixed. Yeah, hound skull's not. It's not worth it. The the speed loss is too great. Okay. So lizard skin, pay to win. <laughs> We're good now. Got enough. Yep. Got enough physical damage reduction as well. 
And give me one second. All right, game two. Now that we have a starter staff, I might be able to genuinely snowball. Now that we're here, yeah, now that we're not just, you know, flange mace, this is going to be a lot easier now. Oh, yeah. The auction house is going to make this challenge completely just so much better. I should check my damage, too, while we're here. So, remember, we're base kit with a blue staff, right? So, it's at 77. I can kill someone with 77. It's not, like, super crazy, but it's it's doable. Also, don't forget we have the Holy Strike damage, too. And Holy Strike is, what, 20 plus 9 base? So, what? So, it should be 29 damage. Maybe a little higher because of our will bonus. So, maybe, like, 31, 32. Somewhere around that range. You got the blue lizard skin? Yeah, the extra shards are nice. If you don't have the lizard skin at all, I would recommend it. It genuinely is nice to have for early game. I mean, in this case, the lizard skin is just better than having a helmet at all. So, I guess you could kind of technically say it's pay to win. Having a skin that gives you an advantage in game would definitely go on that route, but... That's, uh, that's up to you to decide. Also, guys, friendly reminder, uh, I have a lot of gear to give away because I just want to clear my stash up. So, if you want, yeah, if you want gear, I will be giving it away every, what, like, 25 likes, yeah. Uh, I have a bunch of cleric gear, I have golden keys, and I have some other miscellaneous stuff. Really, just anything. I'm probably going to just clear my entire cleric stash today, to be honest. Give, like, an inventory of stuff, probably, every, uh... I have so much stuff to just dump. You're watching me at work, Goofa? <laughs> what if you uh if you win maybe uh maybe you can message me on discord and i can give you the gear later maybe we can do that If you're if you're available right away, that would be great. But yeah, if you're not, I can always I can always make do. Do it a little bit later. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, do I want to go this way or do I want to go through the down area instead? I think I want to go through the bottom area first. Uh, good, but you don't have to drop the Discord in chat. Just message me through my Discord channel or my Discord server. If you're not in it, the link is in the description of the video always. So just send me a message to there. So just tell me who you are. I mean, you can still let me know what your name is, but yeah, you can just message me. Isn't it weird that the nightmare goblins are looking normal? Anyone else realize that? Like it's 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 weird. It's like this update broke goblins. 
If I like, if I didn't know any better, I would think this is a normal job. But it's weird. Very very strange. swap these. I keep pressing one by accident. I I have this weird muscle memory, but sometimes I get it tripped up. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like, when I have my spell book on number two, it works out. But when I have my staff, I feel like I press the wrong button. It's very, very strange. I think someone's in here. Is it time? Do we give it a go? Oh, it's a barb. Do we want to try a barb this early on? I could. I'm probably gonna lose, but I could try. <laughs> no, I don't know. Do we do it? Do we go for the naked blue staff barb kill? Oh, we good. Free loot? Maybe. It's probably not free loot, but I could give it a try anyway. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. It's more than likely a loss. Barbarians, like, <laughs> it's... Maybe we'll give that a try if he comes back. It's a very bad idea, because it would mean that we're gonna go back to, like... You know, it would mean we would basically go back to starter kit if we die, but... I am very, very tempted to try it. It's just this... It's, it's not about... No, yeah, it's not about the death count. The, de it's not, the death count isn't what matters. It's about snowballing in the very... You know, it's, it's about snowballing in the early game. Yeah, if I can get an opportunity to fight him legitimately, it, it's going to be tough, though. It's going to be tough to kill him, for sure. Plan B, let the fighter fight the barb. It would be better. I really want to fight this guy, but I think I'm going to get wrecked if I do. I really want to fight this guy. <laughs> I really do. Oh, he just teabagged at someone else. Oh. Okay, let them fight and then clean up the winner. Okay, this is our chance, all right? The big come up. Let them fight first, okay? That's it. That's the plan. I can, I can kill a warlock, I think. Or I can kill a barb who's weak. Yeah, plan C. Yeah, plan C is third party. <clears throat> he hit me with that? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Am I too slow? You're kidding me. You're kidding. Dude, am I too slow? I'm so used to being fast. I guess I was too slow. I didn't think he'd hit me there. I guess I was too slow. God damn it, dude. I guess I was too slow, yeah. My, my move speed was not fast enough there. Shoot. Yeah, unlock I guess I was too slow. Yeah, it's, it's all about move speed. I wasn't fast enough. Shoot. That really sucks. Yeah, I wasn't fast enough. I, I, I did not expect him to hit me there. I really did not expect him to hit me there. God damn. That sucks. Oh, uh, how much gold do I have? I had 280. So I have, what, like 160? Yeah, that's unlucky. I really didn't think he'd catch up to me that quick. I truly did not expect that at all. That really sucks. Uh, do I just... If I have move speed there, I don't die there. 
It, it was just that he got that first hit off on me. That's all it was. We just didn't have enough speed. If you're going to play Cleric, you have to build speed. I just wasn't. I'm not quite geared yet to that point. Yeah, the problem is uh, the problem is just the very beginning of Cleric. This class doesn't really work when you're not geared. That's kind of the issue. Um, Maybe we just try again. White Staff really isn't great, but I don't have enough gold to really purchase anything crazy. So I think we just go again and just try. Yeah, that's fine. I cannot believe that Warlock was able to catch up to me with his staff out when I was full sprinting away. I I just I I can't believe he hit me there. I just it it doesn't it doesn't comprehend that he was able to hit me. I really thought I was fast enough to get away from him, but I guess my speed. I don't know what it was. It must have been like 101 or something for him to catch me like that. Yeah, that's the struggle, man. It's the uh it's the cleric struggle, the early game is you kind of have to grind for gold so it's a little bit hard to do this challenge i think yeah that's true i tried i think my knowledge is also very low as well yeah that's true my um i'm my holy strike should have been done way before that from my other build but i just wasn't quite used to the really slow casting speed so like you know, he had the he had the whole gap closed, and I didn't even think he could catch up to me that quick. So that was pretty sad, to be honest. I think if I had just backed up and did regular buffs and just tried to fight him head on, I might have been able to kill him there. It was just the movement speed really caught me off guard. I, I was not expecting him to be able to catch up to me like that. And it's as soon as he hit me once and he got into the door. I don't know how we I don't know how he followed me. When I shut the door, I swear I should have gotten space and I could have healed, but Yeah, you you can't play cleric without. You need not. Cleric is gear dependent now for solo play. Like cleric is very very gear dependent. Uh you you're not going to win a lot of fights if you're under geared against certain classes. Like, it's just, it's very important for this build. Hey, you go, well, I've, I've moved on from the, that game now. Sorry. Alright, you know what? I might just go for this PvP here. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Of course we're casting slow. We're not. We're not. We're not kidding. Also, remember we don't have move speed either. Yeah, I'm not I'm not kidded enough for this, man. I'm not kidded enough for these fights. I could win these fights so easily if I was geared, man. You don't understand. The gear is so bad. This is gonna be rough, man. This is gonna be so rough. It's it's gonna be so hard when we're not geared, man. I'm telling you. This is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be a nightmare trying to do this challenge without grinding for gold. This is gonna be so bad.
Yeah, it's tough, man. Yeah, uh, Cl Cl Cleric is just so absurdly gear dependent in this game. It's so nuts. Do you see how slow we're casting? Look at this. Base gear Cleric is just terrible. It's it's just, it's tough, man. I didn't even have enough time to back away and heal myself. Because, yeah, it just it's just not enough time. Why not start from first level one character? I don't have any I don't have any character slots average, and then we're gonna fight. If I do a fresh level one character, then it means that we're gonna be fighting just. I mean, yeah, I guess we could do that. Is that what you'd prefer? Would you prefer a level one character instead? It's gonna make it's gonna make PvP way easier because we're not gonna get gear diff, but it almost feels like cheating just going to lower MMR and just dunking on people that aren't going to just outgear us. Because <laughs> we're just getting outgeared in these fights. I'm not even losing from skill. I'm literally losing because I don't have gear. Cleric geared can fight. Yo, Cleric, I'm telling you, Cleric, when you're geared, can actually fight people, man. It's just it's just the undergeared, man. This it's not like Barb. Barb can just go in with like a like a quarter staff and just I can just kill people and it's fine. But yeah, it's it's just a completely different story with this. I don't have I'm not gonna bother killing that. It would take too much time with a flange mace. I could opt. I could opt for a level one character instead. It would make the challenge significantly easier. Even though we don't have perks, it wouldn't matter. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. It would just be. It would be way, way easier if I made level one, because we because we are probably gonna just keep getting gear diff if we sit in Pathfinder. But it sucks that I, I want to be able to win these fights, and I think I've been kind of close too. But it's just it's really hard. Oh my god, you followed me. God. I didn't think the set of people followed me that far. I thought he would de aggro at that point. It takes too long. It takes way too long to kill the centipede with a flange based starter weapon. It's not worth it. It would take me probably like a minute and a half to kill it. So probably not worth it. I'm thinking about maybe starting a new character instead. To prevent the gear diff sets up. Because it does feel really, really crappy. Losing fights that I know I can win. Yeah, I'll do the giveaway after this game, and I might consider swapping over to a uh, new cleric instead. Spider silk. I think those actually sell too. All right, maybe we'll do a new character instead. I'll I'll delete my bard. Cause I don't, who cares, Wait, I, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna play Bard next wave, that's just a useless class anyway. Well, useless for me, I don't know, but I know some people like Bard, but I'm not a huge fan. That's yeah, fine, after this game I'll swap to level 1 and then we won't, hopefully we won't be getting just completely wrecked by just absurdly kitted players. <laughs> hopefully. Uh, I could just leave this game if we're gonna do that, honestly. You know what? That's fine. Let's do, let's do it. Let's do a new character. Let's do a new character. That's fine. Alright. Uh, so I'm going to do the giveaway real quick, and then we're going to play new level one character and not get gear diffed. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So if you don't know, I'm going to basically do a number guessing. I'm going to get you guys to guess the number between one and a hundred. Whoever guesses it right, I'm going to give away a bunch of gear too. All right. Probably do one inventory of gear or something around those lines per. Uh, so here, let me go ahead and... Yeah, I don't care about the spider silk. The gear doesn't matter to me anymore, average. Holy sh no fuck no shot. No shot, you guessed that instantly. Dude, that was so fast. 
<laughs> oh my god, you guessed that instantly. GG's, I guess. <laughs> Good job. Master guesser, man. Uh, Savoen, are you on? Or can you be on for me to give you gear, or do you need some time? Yeah, see, that was, that's pretty, that's crazy, man. I, I can't believe you were able to do it that quick. That's nuts. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Um, okay, so here's the here's the problem. I my bard. I want to delete my bard, so that way I can use him to make a level one cleric. Does is anyone available to help me trade stuff onto my main account? Dell, are you available right now? Um, I want to trade this stuff to my other class so I can use it for my giveaways. Because um, I want to delete this, but I, I don't want to just delete all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, Del, can you do that? All right. Um, so, Sevoen, let me know when you're on, and I'll give you some stuff. And then, Del, I'll trade you stuff, and we'll tr we'll trade it over to my main cleric. And then we'll start giving stuff away in, in, like, intermission. And then we'll do the level one cleric instead. All right. Uh, what do you mean you two don't participate? Oh, you're on Sevo N? Okay. It missed now. Okay. That's it. Netly. Yeah, why don't you take a divine bow? Take this cloak. Take this cloak. Take some cookies and some candy canes. There you go. Dogger is bad. <laughs> and Dell, trade me whenever. Uh, you're oh, you're on. Okay. Yeah, sure, man. No problem. Oh, I did a zero gold. It's okay. Yeah, trade me a few times, and then I'll just get everything that's important out of here. Uh, yes, I have been considering swapping over to Twitch, but maybe doing a dual stream, Goopa. Yeah, yeah, dual stream is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, I just see... I was having issues doing it through the... You don't have space? You might have to have space open in your main tab. That's possible, Delro. But that no, that shouldn't be the case. I have no idea why it's saying that. Game's bugging, I guess. But yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm considering doing the dual streams. Uh, this stuff doesn't matter. Weight cap, yeah, baby. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. All right, so that's everything for my character. Uh, Del, I'll go ahead and trade over to my cleric, and I'll trade you back. And Del, uh, feel free to keep some gold for the trade fees and stuff. 
for it. Yeah, I'm having the realization that trying to play Cleric at max level with completely starter gear this late into wipe was probably not the smartest idea <laughs> at the start. I'm, I'm having that realization. I um, Mistakes were probably made there. I, I can only imagine every single player we find is at least going to be somewhat geared. So <laughs> hopefully we have more luck with uh, level one. And technically, like, we could do normals, but I feel like normals is a little bit boring, you know? I don't know. I, like, we won't, we won't get geared if the normals, but at the same... At the same time, I just don't think it's worth... Or it just doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. It was bold of me to try it on a class that's not like Barber Fighter, who are, who are very much better at doing uh, ungeared runs, for sure. All right. Dime. I think it's time. Uh, what's her name? Is my is my frozen heel still open? It is. No one took it. Cool. All right, level one cleric this time. All right, let me uh, change up my spells and stuff real quick. Uh, what should our first perk be? Probably Blunt Weapon Mastery. Just because we're going to have to use the Flange Mace for the very first run. Maybe we'll get rid of that after the first one, but we'll do that for now. Try Divine Strike instead of Holy Strike with no gear. That's a fair point, SW. There, you're, there, is, a, there is some validity to that, and it might be right, but... If things don't go well, I might consider that, alright? Alright, so... Complete redo. All right, let's forget the last 45 minutes ever happened. We're going to restart the challenge on level one cleric instead. And hopefully, because we're not going to be getting teamed up with, you know, super high rank, juiced out players, you know, beating on us with starter kit cleric. Hopefully that will make our lives a little bit better. Okay, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, I, like, I expect to find some geared players, but it sucks. It sucks looking at somebody with... Everyone here knows that starter kit cleric is just not good. And, so, like, you're not gonna kill anybody in solos with start. Oh, I should have put lizard skin on. That's a mistake. Uh, I should probably restart this run and put lizard skin on, but it's okay. Maybe we'll find a decent hat and it'll be okay. We'll just hope that we find a hat and it'll be... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, getting uh yeah, getting absolutely pummeled just from gear diff just feels really <laughs> really not great. All right, redo. Other games didn't happen. This is this is the official start of the stream. All right. Um I think those fights also showed why knowledge is so important for cleric. My cast speed is just so absurdly slow right now. Having um having just any additional you can get is just it just makes such a difference, man. It allows you to be able to cast like holy strike in your buffs just 
without fear of people running up and closing the gap on you. Are you, is this really happening? You're a jerk. <laughs> okay. Okay, at least he's leaving. Think he's going for troll? I'm gonna shut this door. If they give cleric staff mastery, uh, ungeared cleric becomes significantly better. Uh, the problem is we can't catch rogues right now, Oreo. We're not built yet. We don't have any movement speed. Naked rogue will absolutely never die to me. He will just run away till the ends of the earth and that'll be that. That's just part of how it is. Yeah, what's the term? Uh, I bit off more than I can chew. I think that might describe my, uh, my audacity of thinking I would be able to just do a max level end of wipe zero to hero on cleric of all classes. That might have been a little crazy of me to even decide to give a try, but it's okay. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Sometimes challenges don't have the best start. Holy crap, this is so tanky. I hate this flange mace. Okay, sorry, it's dead. Just six hits. Pretty sure wizards with a staff kill faster than the flange mace does now too, which is hilarious. Balls, yeah. Hey, I had to try, man. I had to give it a go. Guts for trying it here on stream, nevertheless. Which is a little crazy, even for me, it's crazy. Believe me, I, I thought about the, uh, I thought about how bad of an idea it was, but I couldn't resist. Okay, good, we got a, we got a hat now, so that makes it, it's okay. I need to find better, uh, shoes. Plate boots are just not great for cleric. You need anything, I mean, yeah, it's just anything with speed, that's all that matters in this game. Lace turn shoe is probably bis, I think, for cleric. Probably. So what I think I'm going to do is this is going to become like a series, maybe. So I'll start labeling my streams like part one, part two, etc. If this run goes well, and we'll kind of continue from here and we'll build up our cleric completely here on stream. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh my god, the flame made it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I can't even hit mobs. You think I'm gonna hit players with this thing? I can't even hit the mob sitting still, like three inches away from me. Copy my build, one of Ranger. Oh, that's good. That's good to hear. I'm glad my build has been working out well for you. Or for him. No, I'm telling you, race car cleric with your gear it is really, really good. It's just, it's just the early game, man. The early game's really rough. You know, honestly, I think it's, uh, I think it's almost good that you watched me get pummeled because it, it will make you understand that if you try to play cleric and you get pummeled like that, it's not just you, man. It's me too. Gear makes a big difference in this game, especially when you're someone that's gear dependent like cleric you can get away with it on like barbarian i think barbarian doesn't need as much gear to succeed but yeah to play to try to play like something like this and not a uh, pve farm all day it's it's it's, it's risky very lucky this is not locked also, not to mention, Cleric is a very slow looter as well. So, trying to get 
you know, any kind of gear, it, it takes some serious time just because of our resource limit us being pretty low. It's not like we're a rogue and we could just run away from people or we're barb and we could just face tank people. We don't we don't have those options as cleric. It's a big difference. Yeah, without the prop yeah, exactly, divine. Without the mat without the proper gear, it's just cleric is not super crazy. With the with the proper gear though, it can be a force to be reckoned with, but yeah, ungeared, it's it's rough, man. <laughs> it's rough. Well, the reason I stopped playing Cleric is, quite honestly, because it's just, it, it feels so weak in solos. Geared Cleric feels okay. I mean, you, I mean, it, it is okay, it's just, it's just, it's rough, man. That's really good. If we can get to 15 without, a, with that, we will get so much gear out of that Dublay, I'm not even kidding. That's a, that's a really valuable item. Valuable for me, who has like no gold to my name right now. <laughs> yeah. Turn shoe, that's really good. Speed roll, no speed rolls, but this is just better. Lace, it's just better than boots are because it gives you the dexterity as well, which is very strong. Yeah, the market, yeah, the market's level locked, unfortunately, so it's gonna take a little bit of time. It just, it is what it is, man. There's nothing I can do to stop that or change that. Uh, I mean, it's not, like, crazy, but at the very least, it's good to sell. I think I'd rather have the Vigor than a little bit of Will, especially early on. It is a little bit more speed, but this is just, this is just way better. It also has good rolls. What's more important? Uh, so number one is... Number one is move speed. Number... Maybe not, man. It's really close. You kind of need to do a balance. If you go all magic damage and no move speed, then your build isn't good. But if you go all move speed and no magic damage, it's also not good. So you... You are responsible. You basically need to build what you can to make sure you're fast enough, but also have enough damage. I got, there's not an exact answer for that question. I wish there was, but there, there's really not. I should just go for that extract, honestly. We have a good bit of stuff on me and that Duble. If I hit 15 with it, we'll probably sell for at least 500 gold, I think. Unless the prices have changed since yesterday. Perfect. Okay, that's a really good first game. We'll get a little bit of extra loot before we go since this is kind of a freebie. This is good enough. Alright, good first game, man. Eight hundred AP. Yeah, that we're gonna, we're gonna get these ranks fast. Yeah, we don't have access. I kind of figured it would work that way. We wouldn't have access to marketplace till fifteen. I think they should change that. I don't think there's any reason for marketplace to be locked to fifteen anymore, personally. But maybe maybe there's a disagreement there. I think it just kind of sucks being uh, level locked out of that stuff. Alright, so anything that's not worth 
So that's not, that's not, that is. Leather caps are. These are. I think life of boots are still worth keeping to sell. Rapiers are kind of meh. I could probably sell that too. Gotta take, kind of like make and pick or, or, you know, pick and choose what we're gonna keep and what we're gonna sell. So I'll bring a little bit of healing. We don't need a whole lot as cleric. It's not that big of a deal. And we'll store most gear until 15. I'm going to try to speed run the levels if possible. I'm already level 5, which is great. So hopefully we don't take too long. And now that we got that, let me first things first buy a weapon. We'll go ahead and buy a club. The yeah, club is good. And we already have a spell book, which is fine. And let's go ahead and put on our second, which is going to be... We should probably put on... Perseverance is really good. Advanced Healer is really good. Protection, like all these, these three are all really good. I think Perseverance is probably second best, but it's it's really close. Perseverance, just to give you an idea, will stop Rupture damage a lot. Rupture does, I think, four damage per second. So it makes Rupture deal like 25% total damage. And considering rogues, I think are still pretty common. I think this is just really nice to have. Uh, outside of that, there's really not a whole lot we can do or change to this build. It's really just waiting room to hit level 15 and just make do with what we got. So let's just keep going and hopefully it works out. That's probably the best way to go about this. Probably shouldn't even use the chest piece, to be honest with you. Stats are kind of marginally better. Yeah, it's like a few percentage points, but it brings us above positive. Yeah, I'm going to just sell this. I'm not going to use this. Or I could just store it for now. That's fine. I think this is the proper way to do it. Being above 300 is really good if we need to chase somebody. So I think that's probably the better decision. All right. So good first game. Let's uh, buy a gold pouch and see how we can do. Do some more PvE farming as well. Try to get 15. Do I have any tips for countering people trying to take your troll loot? Well, if you play Barb, then you just kill them, right? Just PvP them. Don't take damage and troll and then kill them when they push you. I, I don't know what else I could really give you besides that. Yeah, correct, Manny. Yep, you want additional move speed or additional magic damage primary rolls. Absolutely. Yeah, and then if you can get secondary with additional magic power, magic damage bonus, it's okay. Uh, loose trousers can get really expensive but if you can get loose charters with the additional move speed or yeah with move speed that's technically ideal oracle robes are also very very good but again they get very expensive as well this guy would probably wreck my face when i'm not geared it, like, with my gear right now, this guy would probably just dunk on me. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Yeah, probably like 1k. Yeah, the Oracle robes get extremely expensive, for sure. Yeah, the ideal clothes cost the most. Yep, correct, they do. Yeah, if you want if you want the BIS items, you, you're going to have to pay for it. Alright, clear as much PvE as we can so we can get level 15. Uh, we'll do PvP as we go. I'm not going to rush PvP, but if, if it comes to us, I'll do it. But again, get levels for mobs. Uh, any additional money we can get to kind of build our bankroll. So if we do die, we're not just SOL is really important as well. Yes, Marketplace makes this entire challenge actually worth doing.
I mean, Salamis, I wouldn't worry about it, man. It takes time. I mean, everyone is... Everyone gets better at their own pace, PvP-wise. The only thing I can say is just keep practicing. You'll get better, man. If Cleric had access to crossbows, it would be fantastic. Or, an, or a special kind of crossbow. That would be nice. This class would be instantly just way better. It's funny, I was so used to playing this class geared, because I haven't played on geared cleric in a very long time. But, you know, I built a full, like, this kit, and was running that. And I was like, wow, this feels really good. But it's a nice reality check of, uh, of just how rough it is in the early game for this class. Like, you really, you really don't want to be... <laughs> you really do not want to be trying to fight people that are super, like, like, really high geared when you're not at all. It's... It's tough, man. Yeah, anytime anyone ever tells me that they're struggling with PvP, the only thing that I can recommend is that you take the time to just keep practicing, you know? If you get if you get discouraged and end up being like scared to PvP, you're never gonna get better. And the you know, the whole, like, meta right now of people constantly running away from fights and teaming and solos. Those players are not going to get better at PvP. Uh, so if you take the time to get better yourself, you have a higher chance of beating players that are playing like that. And, you know, they can play like that if they want. Like, you know, if... Like, it's fine, whatever. Like, that's what they're doing. But if you want to personally get better at 1v1 PvP, uh, you know, that's... Don't do that, too, you know. That, that's how you get better is practice. Solo Goblin Caves is probably one of the best places right now to learn how to PvP. Because you are forced to PvP and you don't see nearly as much teaming. Which is very important. I should probably grab those gloves. I think they were technically better. Hold up. Let me check those for a second. Yeah, a little bit of HP. Look at that. Yeah, it takes time, Alex. It takes time. I started playing this game when, you know, everyone else kind of sucked. So, I mean, I died a lot too, but I want to say it took me maybe like 20 total hours of gameplay until I started being able to kill people, but it was still a pretty big toss-up. Now, like, if I have at least somewhat equal gear to other players, I feel like I'm generally favored, depending on the matchup. Some matchups are harder than others. Well, I think there, the teaming issues was attempted to be addressed by the redu re the reduction in portals. I think that was the whole point of that. That's why Goblin Caves has only a few portals right now, is because people were doing too much teaming. And it, it definitely worked, but I think there's a negative benefit right now of, you know, the, it, it, it's really easy to die right now by, like, just from not getting a portal, which can feel pretty bad. I also think a big part of getting better at PvP is playing every class in the game, understanding what every class can do and cannot do, and like what advantages they have in fights is it's really important. So if you really want to improve at the game, even if you hate classes, just play them and get them to 20 and understand how they play. Yeah, that's true too. If you try to run away from a fight that you cannot run away from, like for example, maybe you don't have a door open or you're not fast enough, you just have to fight. You're it, running away from someone that's faster than you or you don't have any reasonable way to leave, you are just going to lose. There's nothing you can do. Uh, you're just delaying the inevitable at that point, which is why you want to build move speed to try to be able to leave fights that you can't win. 
But sometimes standing your ground works. Sometimes, you know, you get one lucky miss, like they miss an attack and you get a hit off or something. And then you end up maybe being able to turn that fight around and win it, you know? So it definitely... Figuring out when and where to fight is a big deal as well. Yep. Jumping and hitting, especially depending on your weapon, can really help. Some weapons, it's better than others. I think quarterstaff is really, really strong for that kind of gameplay. Whereas, like a dagger, probably not so much. Because if you keep jumping, you might end up missing hits because your uh, point is so small. Yeah, it happens. Sometimes people just blunder. They just, they miss and they mess up. And, like, that's it. They just die. Sometimes it just works out that way. I'm also going to recommend as Cleric that you typically leave doors behind you open. It's a little bit scary. Because if a rogue comes up behind you, you might not hear them coming through the door. But I think it's worth it because... Oh. Okay, that's what you're looking for. Move speed. This is exactly the kind of thing you're looking for. It's not this because it's not Lace Turn Shoe. But it's still okay. Better than what we're using right now. And the additional dexterity is just benefit stats. Yeah, anything with speed is just good. I'd rather this be on a different pair, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? Additional magic damage is also really good. I'll take that as a backup. Yeah, max roll too. There's a lot of mobs here. You should be a little careful. Grab these one at a time. God, he's so fast because of the mid. Would Adventure Tunic with Magic Bonus be worth it? Okay, so here's the thing about Magic Bonus. It's not bad. But I think in general, uh, the additional damage is better. And Adventure Tunic, I don't think is best for Cleric. I think the Oracle Robe is better because of the additional knowledge. Like, you can use it. It's not that you can't use it. It's just that I don't think it's best in slot, you know? So there's a big difference between something being usable and something being best. Is it usable? Probably. But is it best? No, probably not. And yeah, I, I didn't mean, sorry, I didn't mean the additional damage to mine. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking because of the, because you can't roll, uh, you can't roll chest piece with additional. Uh, but specifically, you do want the Oracle Robe, but they can just get really expensive. So it's kind of up to you to decide if you can even afford that kind of gear. Yeah, the old days of uh, being able to roll additional on, on different pieces of gear is kind of over. Because it's, it's, it's a lot more limited than it used to be. player here. Free buff, just in case. Take the freebie. That's fine. The first couple of games, you don't really expect a PvP. You're just primarily going for levels and, like, backup gold. So it's not- it's- it's really fine.
Uh, I should have done that a different order. That's okay. All right. Uh, I don't want to waste too much money on like random heals that I'm never going to need. Uh, one campfire is probably enough. I don't expect to do a lot of PvP in these games. Uh, I think this is probably good. Maybe bring like one extra red pot just in case. And I think that's probably just good. We'll probably just keep running with this. I could opt to change the shop run for additional magic. But I think this early on, it's mostly just waiting for a level 15. So I can start to buy gear that I can kill, you know, more geared players with. I, I don't think the magic staff's worth using till at least blue quality. So I think sticking with this for now is perfectly acceptable. I don't think we need to do anything else. Probably just keep going, grinding for mobs. Mobs, XP, gold, and, you know players if we happen to see them while looting well the flange mace kind of sucks the flange mace isn't good the morning star i'm not a huge fan of it anymore i feel like the uh the weak point i still just am not a big fan of the way it swings like it's better than the flange mace but it's not super crazy the quarter staff it definitely has its merits I'm just kind of a fan of the quarterstaff in general. I think it's the only other weapon in the game for Cleric that I would personally consider using. Uh, besides that, I don't know. I feel like the club's just a perfectly fine choice for a PvE. Because having a shield for, like, mobs is just... It's so helpful, man. Like, for archers, for boa goblins. It's just... It's very convenient. It's not necessary, but it's convenient. You know? And sometimes it's just, I don't know, sometimes it's just nice to have convenience when you're playing. But I do think it's worth noting that you could just use the quarter staff instead if you wanted to. I'm not a big fan of the hammer. I, I, I don't really ever see it. I just don't, I'm not really a huge fan of it personally. It's okay, but... It does look like that, doesn't it? It looks so, it looks very plasticky. Like you're just hitting somebody with a little kid toy. Yeah, it does look like that. I thought about that too when I first saw it. I think the hardest part for me for playing cleric early game is the uh is having the discipline to not rush pvp fights because i'm used to being like with barb i'm used to being able to win a lot of fights that i might not be totally geared out for but i i don't think you have the same luxury on classes like cleric that are more gear dependent so like when i play barb i could probably just go in and just get like oh my god am i stuck I could probably just go in with like a, a like I don't know, just any random quarter staff and kill players. Uh, but I I just I don't feel the same way for cleric at this point. It's just it's just it's funny how much of a difference it is. Yeah, it does kind of suck that club got nerfed when I I, I kind of wish I feel like it wasn't OP at all for cleric, but now because it was a problem for Barb, it's become a problem for cleric. I I, I understand what you mean. It does kind of suck. Wait, I was stuck there for a little bit. I think I hear a player. Then that mob has been killed too. I 
think it's a rogue that's invis or they're just away they might just be away it's hard to say so here's what's weird i don't under like the the chests are not looted which makes me think it's a rogue that heard me open the door and went in this but if that was true he would already be gone he wouldn't still you know or you know he would be shown you know not still in this so i don't know it's hard to say I didn't even know barrels could drop purples. I swear, every time I open a barrel, it's like a stupid white weapon or armor piece. Yeah, I don't know. He just kind of didn't loot at all. Although, I mean, some people just don't loot. I mean, some people just go for PvP, so that's possible. But we're in pretty low ranks for that, so a little weird. I think this is better. Will and Dexterity. Like, the knowledge is great and all, but I think the it's... It's really tough. There's a lot of there's a lot of stats that you really want as cleric, but I'm gonna take these just because I think it has slightly more total stats. But it's it's very very close. Arguably the uh, arguably I should just be keeping the green ones instead, but I think it's okay. You're a bard. I think it's worth noting that bard might be kind of scary in the in the earlier game when we're not kitted, but I have been able to kill barbs pretty well. Bar or sorry, bards, not barb, but bard with a D. Uh, but once you're geared as cleric, I feel like it's a lot easier to kill them. You're trying out smite solo cleric. What should you build? Okay, so primary stat is magic damage. Make sure you have at least. Make sure you try to get as as much additional magic damage as possible, Russell. If you don't have enough additional magic damage, your smite cleric isn't going to do anywhere near as much. Uh, then you need to build move speed. Uh, move speed second, and then try to get any kind of vigor you can get. Magic healing and health are great, but you really need magic damage and speed the most. I mean, I guess these first couple games will just be PvE farming. I'm not really seeing players, which is okay. It's not the end of the world. I'm just... I expected to at least find some players, but I... And there's no one's popping up. Not like I'm not running around. Just happens that way, I guess. Yes. Yes. Plus, magic damage really is better if you're playing Smite Cleric. Absolutely. Your Smite is where most of your damage is coming from, Russell. The Smite is the damage you want to be increasing. Not not your Fizz. Fizz is fine and all, but it's, it's, the, it's the Smite damage that you want, man. You're really blocking the way, aren't you, buddy? Can't even hit him because of the wall. Yeah, there we go. I figured he'd run. Hit him once. Nah, Russell, that's too slow. Yeah, you, you can't... Yeah, Russell, the, the build's too slow, man. You should be, uh, you should be like a hundred percent or close to it with your weapon out. 
Unless you're talking about heater shield in the club. But, yeah, you, you, you need to be fast if you're going to play, uh, unless you're playing some kind of PDR kind of cleric. But I think it's worth noting that I think those are kind of slow. It depends on what kind of cleric building you're trying to build, man. Yeah, yeah, Marketplace is really good. Once you get some starter gear, you can snowball pretty well. And the only struggle is everyone's so geared that trying to kill players with, like, starter gear can be kind of hard. But, and that's partly just because we're so far into wipe at this point. Peter Club. Yeah, I, I personally use the staff instead for PvP. And that's why I'm building additional magic damage, because the smite scales pretty well with that damage, but... Bola does do a lot of damage. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna have another free game here. I mean, I'm not gonna not take the freebies. We're... You know, it's our first couple games. If this is how games are gonna go, then it just is what it is. I'm not gonna force PvP full on inventory against players that are more geared. Hey, this guy did troll, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, once we get more geared, man, we might be able to do some troll counters too. We just, oh, I, oh, we're five away from level 10. I really wish we hit level 10, man. That sucks. Levels makes a big difference for cleric too. You really, you really, really do want those. But did you notice that? We didn't see anyone all game, and there was only one player in the game, in the whole lobby. Everyone dipped, like, immediately. I don't know what's going on in these lobbies, but they're very, very quiet. It's just, it's strange. I mean, yeah, we just keep going. Centipedes might be good for jewelry, yeah. Honestly, Corey, the big thing, centipede killing when you're under geared kind of sucks because it just takes a while to kill them. Um, and you don't have your full perks. So the, uh, if you do happen to get hit by centipede, but you have the buff duration reduced, it helps a lot in case you do get hit. And just having stronger weapons in general just makes it that much faster. I prefer not to kill centipedes until I have at least, like, purple weapons. But you could do that. I mean, I, I really could kill centipedes on new characters if I wanted to. It just takes a little bit longer. It just takes longer. Whoa, hey, you know what? We'll do it this game because we got a good spawn for it. Yeah, Wizard Ignite's pretty strong battlefront. I'd recommend it. I think it's pretty good. Oh my god, hit him once and he's already running? I think someone's above me right now. Someone is above me. I need to be very, very careful here. Yeah, being there was like a uh, just, just asking for someone to just come right on top of me and kill me. We need to get distance away from that area. One fifty is really good health, man, for sure. It's just it's just the speed. You might have you might have trouble just catching up to players, but hey, I mean if you're not, it's great. The 
stacks of poison, man. This is see, this is this is what I'm talking about. The centipede should have like be long dead by now on most other classes, but cleric, it takes a long time to kill this man. Crazy. That was so long. That was so much time. Oh my god, that's really good. Additional magic. Alright, let's go use the uh, healing shrine real quick. Hopefully no one's there. Just chilling. No, I opened that, so we're good. Yeah, if someone runs, yeah, that, that's how it is, man, for sure. That's why I like to build speed. I hate, I hate playing a class that, like, if someone wants to run away from me, I, I don't want to let them. It's kind of that kind of deal. So, personally, uh, I, I prefer to just build, like, as fast as humanly possible when I play this. What kind of buff would Cleric need to be better solo? Uh, Staff Mastery would be a good start. That's a lot of gold. Yeah, Staff Mastery would be great. Any kind of move speed ability and or any kind of range. Just any of those three would be okay for a good start regardless. Take your pick. Yep. Move speed, range, or stat mastery. Any mixture of those three would be good. Uh, there are more centipedes, uh, but again, just the amount of time it takes to kill them, it just doesn't feel... I guess, I mean, I really should. It's just, I really hate killing them with a base game club. It just takes so long. <clears throat> Pretty sure I just rubber banded into that hip. I'm kind of sucky. I definitely froze for a solid second there. I need to get into storm. I don't really have much time here. Yeah, we just need to clear mobs here. Also, e uh, XP is just way better, anyway. I think Centipede gives like 20 XP or something, which is okay, but it's better to just... I think it's better to just clear more mobs anyway, until you at least hit 15. Yeah, I tried Dungeon Morn. I enjoy the game, but it definitely needs some work. It's not that good for time spent. It's like 20 XP, but it's better to just kill a bunch of random mobs. It's quicker. Why the heck is the champion here? Like, okay, dude. Someone's being real lazy with this champion. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I'm not. I'm not killing that champion. How long it's gonna take me? Dude, it's it's a time. I don't got time to be killing that champion. Absolutely not. I don't like fighting mini bosses unless I have good gear because I don't want to expend the effort with suboptimal gear. That's gonna take me way too long to fight it.
Like the moment you get like purple gear, it's fine, but they're using like greens without even full perks, it sucks, man. <laughs> it's 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 not ideal. Oh yeah, yeah, probably. I thought that was a normal. I thought that was a normal goblin. I almost hit the shield and got hit because it was normal. Anyone want to tell me that that doesn't look like a normal goblin? It definitely does. Yeah, maybe they tried to do the cheese and realized they couldn't do it. I feel I can kill the champion without cheese. It just takes some time. That's all. It's not that. It's not that hard, honestly. Just wait for the shield bash move, and you kill it for free at that point. All right. After this game, I'll be level ten, which is a really good start. Once we hit fifteen, though, that's when we really like get unlocked. You know, we get the marketplace. We can start buying better gear. But until then, we're kind of just. PvE farming, mostly. Kinda sorta. Nightmare versions are supposed to be darker. They're just not. It's just bugged. Yes, there is a wipe very soon. Uh, wipe should be in, what is it, like 10 days? Somewhere around there? Whenever that timer runs out. Yeah, this is the time where most people are running around in like this items. So doing a zero to zero is uh, a little bit bold of me, but I couldn't resist. Now here's the question, what class am I going to play for wipe day? That's what I haven't decided yet, I'm still thinking about it. Like the optimal part of me says play bard. You know, just play bard, why not? But the, the fun part of me says play cleric or play wizard if they don't nerf staff mastery. Not sure yet, we'll see. Druid? Yeah, if it releases. I don't really know if this stuff really sells. I'm not chasing anybody with this gear. Yeah, that's just fine. I don't really need torches when I, I can't really chase. I don't have any, I don't really have much move speed to be chasing. Although, I mean, I could just drop one of the other things in my other slot for this. Yeah, I don't really need bandages, I think. Not in my main slot. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that's good. It's, it's kind of nice having torches. I mean, my speed's pretty bad, but I think it's okay. No, it's not that this is meta. It's that I haven't been able to find any armor that's been worth wearing. This game's all about movement speed. And if the armor makes you too slow, then it's not worth wearing. Is he like in the floor? Weird. Very, very strange. Good stats. Nah, not worth it. Yeah, I don't know what the heck that bug was doing. It was kind of stuck. It is crazy that we're not naturally running into players. There's just no one here. Everyone's just gone. I really expected to like see people naturally, but it seems like that's not happening. I don't think warlocks wear occult dispense because they're too slow. 
I don't. I, I really don't think these have any real value. I know Bardish doesn't either. I, I'm not really sure if these sell or not, so I'll keep it for now. But I, I'm pretty darn sure. I'm pretty darn sure that it's too slow for Warlock. Oh yeah, we should wear the heater. Yeah, 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 we should wear that. I wasn't thinking about that. You're right. Good call. Um... Oh, I have Divine Strike. Ro oh, wrong spell. I thought I had a uh, Holy Strike. Oh, I, I, had, I had the wrong thing on. That caught me off guard. gonna be one of those huh but there's two separate players yeah wonder if they're teaming I should probably take this portal because we're getting to like the end of the circle Yeah, once you get to the end of the circle, you really don't have time to fight people anymore. I am willing to bet you that one of those players ends up dying. You don't think I'm going to get rushed, right? Okay, I can't. I'm just trying to be greedy here. Any extra money would be good. It's not worth it. It's fine. We don't have time. Oh, that one guy actually managed to leave? I wonder where he left to. I'm very surprised. Yeah, that's one thing I think should change. I think Goblin Caves, the end of the uh, the end of the circle, was way, way too punishing. If you don't just take a portal instantly, I feel like you end up just kind of dying because there's nowhere for you to go, which kind of sucks. I I'm I'm not really sure what they're gonna end up doing with that, but right now it still feels a little bit imbalanced. I think. I think there's definitely some room for improvement there, personally. Alright, I should be level 10, which will give me my next perk. I'm actually level 12, that's great. Okay, so we're getting really close to being able to use Marketplace, and then we'll be able to start doing, like, market buying and more PvP. Maybe even skipping over a lot of loot for PvP instead. It's just we really need these, uh, we really need our perks first before we can do that. And better gear. We have plenty of stuff to sell, too. Change. Oh, yeah, my spell. Good call, good call. All right, yeah, we're good there now. All right, well, a few more games. We'll hit 15, and then we'll be able to use Marketplace. Start selling stuff and then buying what we need. Better staff, movement speed gear, additional magic damage gear, anything of that nature is good. We already have some stuff, which is good. I mean, it's not like super great gear, but it's at least something that we can have for free, <laughs> which is nice. I told you, Gary. People, people have been dissing my quarter staff, man. When I made the bar video, people were trying to tell me that the club was just strictly better. Like, yeah, why would you not use the club? It's just better. It does like one less damage, and uh, has more moves speed. But that's not the whole story. 
The attack pattern, I think, is better for the quarter staff. It has no weak point, so you're not ever hitting for 70% total damage. It has benefits to it, man. I'm telling you, the quarter staff's good. Yeah, I changed my spell. I did. I have holy strike now. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, geared cleric is like a whole different class than this. Like right now, I'm like this early game nonsense is basically just a, uh, it's just like the waiting room to be, it, it's just waiting room. We're just trying to get our perks, trying to get like our gear set ready to go. It's just, it's just time, man. That's all it is. I, did he just spit at me at the same time he's running? That was kind of hard. don't like fighting mini bosses with green weapons, <laughs> but it's alright. We'll just do it anyway. Yeah, yeah, I should use smite. I was just worried of getting a uh, third party, you know. But what are the odds that someone runs at us this early in the game? Pretty low, right? Why clear it? Because I hate myself. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, just because. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not bad. Argument to be made that this is better. It's a lot of stats. This is just two additional magic. It's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, I do like Geared Cleric, but uh, it is, it is, it's, it's a rough time out here, man. Okay, so we're, what's our speed difference? 88.7? 88. So this is slightly faster. With 1% additional action. It's really, really close. Which one is better? Like, it's, it's super close. I think movement speed is just always better, though. It's like six health. I think I think movement speed. One percent, point seven percent, still there, man. Yeah, it's not that I want to not run armor. It's just that I haven't found an armor piece that's worth wearing. Is the issue? Yeah, believe me, it's not that I don't want it. Yeah, movement speed is bis for sure. I remember when this room had like 80 mobs. Pepperidge Farmer. <laughs> I remember. You come in here and it was just every like inch was another mummy. It's crazy. Hey, move speed. That's pretty good. And Dex, what's their speed go to? Oh my god, it's slower. Oh. It's slower, so I know what I'm picking. Hey, that's pretty good. Remember when there used to be a chest here? I remember. I miss it. Uh, it's because, it's because this has plus four move speed, but this one is just generally, loose trousers are just naturally fast. It's why I think they're pretty much best in slot in general. Careful, that's a nightmare. That thing will actually wreck my face if I let it. Yeah. 
you get triple shot as a cleric without gear, you will just evaporate off the face of the earth. You will, you will be done, so. <laughs> you will be done, so. Don't recommend it. Do not recommend. I want to grab my free uh, lion set. I think this is always unlocked. For what I've noticed, at least, it seems like it. I'm not a big fan of cave troll farming, Demo. Most of the time when I try to cave troll farm, I end up just getting third party. Or, it's not even third party. You're kidding me. Okay. I guess. Through the shield. That's what I'm waiting for. Why are these going through my shield? It's just one of those days, I guess. I think that went through my shield twice. Unlucky. I swear I have my shield up there, but okay. Maybe not. Maybe I was a little slow, I don't know. Magic arrows, I really don't know. Yeah, I feel like I just got cheated there twice by servers. I don't know. Yeah, I think this is always unlocked. I don't think I've ever had to use a lockpick here. Oh, that's really good. Move speed. Got a lot of decent stuff here. Even these are decent too. There's, it's it's a little slower, but that's a lot of knowledge. So like one percent speed. It's so sad. Like it's like these are good, but I really feel like I'd rather just have more speed. It's it's like it sounds silly, but it just it doesn't matter. The stats are not as good as speed. Knowledge is good, I agree, but move speed is also good. Where are the players at? I feel like I've been playing single player goblin caves for four or five games now. I don't think I've seen a single player. Like, truly immaculate. Amazing. Yeah, maybe because we're lower ranked, they're dying to PvE. Maybe. It's possible. It's hard to say. Hey, upgrade. Cool. Nice to use a weapon that's not white quality. Kill another centipede, since it seems like the lobby is just super quiet. Might as well, right? Yeah, might as well. Yep, hit him once and he runs. Early. Fun. Come on, man. I don't know why they do that. I wish they didn't run so quick. Yeah, yeah, I know there's two. I could kill both if I wanted to. Sure, sure, sure. Man, if I had a purple club, man, these would be dead so much quicker. Please. 
the green club. It's not strong enough. He just tanks all my hits, man. Rough life. Oh, hey, knowledge ring? Good. That's pretty good, too. Arguably even better than my Ox Pendant, but... Good, either way. Okay, I just saw a player. Rogue, right? Okay, we don't have enough speed. I'm never gonna catch that guy. This is this is one of those examples of why you need move speed. Uh, I am quite literally, I will never be allowed to fight him. He will just do nothing but run away. And if I do chase him, eventually I'm gonna run into him while he's invis, and I will just die. It is kind of just one of those things. Uh, if you unless you build race car type cleric, you just you will never be allowed to fight players like that. It's just it's just how it is. I might want to just check to see if I can extract here in the uh, guaranteed one. Because that rogue's going to be a really big problem since I can't catch up to him in a fight. What are you doing here? Gonna take the exit and leave. Okay. I didn't expect a guy in storm like that. That's pretty annoying. It's goblin caves for you, though. All right. Well, good luck. The road might wreck me. Hopefully not, but we'll see. I know there's a static there. The east side? Yeah, I mean, I could run there, but it could be taken too. There's no- I just assume every exit is just taken. through this door. I should probably leave with this stuff. And he's gone after missing all of his spells. I could screw this guy. I could just I could just wait and make him die to the end of the portal. That'd be kind of funny. I could just grief him. Oh, is he gone? Damn, I think he's gone. No griefing today. Uh, I think I've had like, I don't know, 200 or so. Just depends on the day. Yeah, that dude took one holy strike and ran.
completely gone, man. Yeah, that man just decided he, he changed his mind <laughs> he just completely changed his mind it's so funny all right well hey we're almost 15 which is really good i know we've gotten like no pvp but it's just the nature of early game cleric i this is kind of what i expected at least in these early games but at least we've had the opportunity to grind up some gold and xp uh we are we might be able to hit 15 at this game this upcoming if we really focus on pve but we'll see uh, i'll be back i'm gonna use the restroom and then we'll keep going all right Oh yeah, also, I did notice the uh, centipedes, I guess because of, the reason I didn't value centipedes before as much is because selling trinkets in the regular trade was pretty miserable, but now that you can trade in market, I think centipedes have a lot more value. I should probably focus more on killing centipedes, especially once I get a better club so I can, you know, so I can fight the mobs more often, or, you know, so I can kill them quicker, I should say. Just something I wanted to note. Just something I noticed while I was playing. I didn't really think about that till just now. Alright, well, we need 15. We're 13. We're very, very close. And then we can start trading and building an actual, like, decent kit for PvP. Uh, full lobby size? I have no idea. I'm not really sure. It doesn't really tell you. Yeah, once we have 50 likes, um, I'll do another giveaway. Got plenty of stuff. Uh, cloth pants, you can wear them if you have movement speed rolls, but to be completely honest, loose trousers are just, are just always better. Cleric just needs speed, man. And agility gives you some action speed as well, so, like, it's just a win-win. It's the, it's the base movement speed. The fact that loose trousers give you minus three instead of minus five or minus six is a really big deal no 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 no. Uh, if this is not meta it's just that we haven't found a good chess piece i will take the five movement speed loss if i can find a chess piece that has good stats but i have not seen a single chess piece and yeah so like using like a white or a gray chess is not worth the risk well, yeah, it's not just the jewelry upgrades, Danker. It's about being able to sell that stuff for really good value on the market. Yeah, we don't, we unfortunately do not get a 10% damage bonus by not having a chest piece. So, <laughs> unfortunately that does not work. Or 10% magic damage bonus, whatever you want to call it. I wish we did. There may, no, no, I don't, I don't wish that at all, actually. I don't think, 
I don't think uh, benefiting naked meta is particularly great. I think we should just stick with barb and just be done. I don't think we need more classes with naked benefits. So, uh, I take that back. But give me staff mastery, please. I would love staff mastery. He thought about running, but he changed his mind. So that's good. Did a warlock now? Uh, I think because of the marketplace, warlock's good, but it seems like people aren't playing magic healing anymore because of the nerf, so they're just playing magic damage lifesteal. Life uh, magic healing, I think, is like 25% less effective or something. Someone feel free to correct me. I don't know the exact numbers, but it's just slightly less useful. Uh, Dennis, I'm okay. I'm just gonna use the- I'm just gonna use the auction house. I don't really need to worry about, like, finding gear sets anymore, because the auction house will always have something to buy. It's not really a problem anymore, which is nice. Like, the whole point of this challenge is to use the auction house for gear. I wanted to do it on my max level character, but I was just getting rolled by, like, very geared players, and I just stuck it, like, starter kit, which was not great. Primarily because I was playing too aggressively. You know, I was trying to PvP people that I couldn't PvP. So, this is what it is. I'm just, the nature of my gameplay. I'm too aggressive for my own good. Can't do it, can't do it on Cleric like I can on Barb. It's a different, it's like a completely different game. It's not better. You think it's better, but it's not because of the movement speed. Good to sell though. Is that true? Is Magic Heal Warlock Biss? That's interesting. I feel like people- I've been hearing a lot of people say that Magic Heal Warlock's dead because they were nerfed it and you, and people just play the, the damage variant. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna let him do his thing and then probably just third party him. This is a pretty decent spot to maybe try to kill this guy. Although he's struggling. What you doing, wizard? I think he's invis like three times. He's almost out. <laughs> he, he just keeps invising. I don't know what he's doing. No, he's still there. Okay, this guy's really struggling. This is, uh. <laughs> he's trying. wizard. Oh shoot, I have my own spider here. I was so entranced at watching this wizard. Alright, I think it's time. I think we're the wizard enough time.
I'm worried about the guy above me. Hey, move speed. That's really, really close, man. That's so close. This is such a good pendant. That is absurdly close. Like, it's... Oh, man. I, I don't know. I think I might just keep these stats. These are pretty good stats right now, but it's... It's really tempting. PoE too. Sorry, I, I don't play PoE. Maybe someone in chat knows, but I personally do not. We finally got some PvP! <laughs> Woo! W key barb. Just took six games to finally find a single player. Womp womp, yeah. Womp womp, man. Dude didn't even- Dude got like one hit. I don't even have the duration resistance, which is- which counters barb. And he still lost. Tragic. That's that's uh, un unlucky, man. Oh my god, two additional magic? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think the physical power is better right now, but once we swap the club, that's definitely going to be changed for sure. Blue club too. Blue club, but he didn't even use it. <laughs> yeah, man, that barb was very confident. Hey, well, we got a we got an upgrade, so that's cool. Slowly upgrading our weapon one by one, one one upgrade at a time. Oh God, I didn't even see you. It's nice to finally get some PvP though, man. My god, it's been like so many games of just you know, just the most quiet lobbies I've had in so long. I'm not prepared for that one. Yeah, D4 was pretty not good. <laughs> pretty not good at all. I was gonna play it, but I hard passed on that one. I was playing Diablo 3 a while, but uh, like the game is fun, but it just gets boring pretty quick because I kind of just did all the content that I wanted to do. Yeah, D4 really dropped the ball big time. Pretty sad, but it is what it is. I, I tried to like Diablo 4. I didn't buy it, but I tried to like it. It, it was not happening. I just, I couldn't do it.
We should kill this a little faster since we have a blue now. Purple would be more ideal, but... The last time we killed one, I think it was a white club. So that's the difference it is. Isn't it so satisfying watching a barb throw like 18 axes and then get just destroyed? I think it's very satisfying, personally. How many did he throw? Six? Seven? I don't know, I lost count. Lost count real quick. 15? Damn it. Damn it, we're so close. And then we can play the game. <laughs> kinda. Kinda, I'm not completely kidding. Partially kidding, but but not quite. Okay, so a lot of this stuff will end up getting vendored. I'm just waiting until the marketplace so we can start figuring out what I want to sell and what I don't want to sell. So don't mind the mess. Give me give me until I hit 15, and then I can start doing a little bit more of that organizing stuff and buying you know like an actual kit so we can have more have more bet. More better? Have better games. Words are hard, man. Hard sometimes. Alright, should be last game. Should be. I can't ima I cannot imagine not hitting 15 at this point. I just that would just be crazy. Are we good? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And then afterwards we'll be able to clear up this trash. Start buying our better kit. Hopefully start rolling some lobbies. Hopefully. Alright, let's go. You think I could get solo fighter to demigod? Uh, Danker, what level, what rank are you right now? Or like, are you talking like fresh fighter? Level 1 kind of deal? Or are you talking like Pathfinder, Voyager, you know? kind of rank we talking Pathfinder 2 uh you could do it but it's gonna be a lot harder to grind it now that the ice caves is not available at all times and you can't portal farm in ruins like you used to be able to is it possible yes uh, is it, is it gonna take a lot of work? Yes. So it is up to you to decide if you want to take the time to do that or not. But yes, it might be a little bit tough for you. Oh, there's a big chest. I might as well take this.
Yeah. Yeah, Kaba, we're- I'm using completely just random stuff that I'm finding to 15. Yeah, th exactly. That's a pretty decent pair of heavy load leggings. Not, like, super great, but it's- it's okay. Th those will probably sell. I mean, I think any pair of purple will sell, but having beneficial stats should help. Like, a cleric. I say cleric like I'm not a cleric. A PDR cleric would probably want them. Well, I like countering troll, but I like countering troll when I have gear to fight players with, and uh, I'm still working on that part. I can kill players, but my gear is not ideal. I would like to maybe build out my kit, but I need to wait till Marketplace at 15 to start doing that. worth it. The white quality is not worth the five move speed. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry that D4 was your very first impression of that. It's... I promise you there's better ARPGs out there, man. D4 just wasn't great. Is New Heater better stats? I didn't really check, but I can take a look here in a second. Max health. It's pretty close. The difference is pretty marginal because I'm not building PDR or anything. Yeah, Diablo, um, I've heard a lot of good things. I never played Diablo 1 or 2, but I've heard a lot of good things about Diablo 2. I didn't start playing Diablo until Diablo 3, but not until, like, a year or two ago. Pretty recent. I heard Diablo 3 was really bad on release, but the game seems like it was pretty decent once it got updated a lot. I wanted to go back and play Diablo 2 Remastered, or whatever that's called, but I decided that this game was what I was going to play instead. Yeah, I've heard I've heard good things about those games. Just isn't something I ever got around to. Not cleared, probably not worth clearing myself. Maybe I should just go for center and kill more centipedes. I should hit 15 by the end of this game, for sure. That's pretty good. I should hit 15 at the end of this game, so... I don't think I need to continue clearing a bunch of mobs. I think I can just focus on gear, money, and if we happen to find players on the way, cool. But on the, like, next, next game is when I'll really start to focus more on PvP. <laughs> Was gonna chase, but he didn't do it. Warden skin? I didn't know there was a warden torch skin. That sounds like. I don't think that's true. I've never seen any other skins besides blue and regular. I've played a lot of this game to never see any other skin color. 
Also, I'm sure someone on Reddit or something would have said something about a different skin color. I'm getting some pretty serious lag here. I'm pretty sure I just lagged into two or three of those hits. Cover bad, man. Can't get away from it, I swear. Oh, well. I'll just rest for one second. Gotcha. I don't really care about a torch skin. I already have the blue one that I don't even use. <laughs> so that doesn't really matter to me. I would never want to be a I would never want to be a Discord like mod at the time. Or the want to do anything like that. So, they can have the torch skin, I don't care. Oh, it's a goblin. I thought that was a player. I was getting a little nervous for a second. God. Yeah, I am... I don't know who the hell would want to moderate the Dark and Darker Discord. Oh my god, that... Yeah, I don't know about that one, man. Well, my Discord's pretty tiny, man. There's not... I don't have a whole lot of crazy activity going on. I, I don't know. I don't really. I don't really. It. I don't really enforce any like crazy rules or anything. Just, my Discord was for you guys. I didn't even. I wasn't even gonna make a Discord, but you guys kept asking me to make it. So I did. Well, some went out all. I didn't make it myself, but still, it still existed because you guys wanted it. Yeah, I gotta be honest, the jewelry you get from centipedes is very, very valuable for sure. We're just a centipede farm in this game. How many have we killed? Have we killed two or three? I think we killed three, right? Or just the two in the middle? I forget. I don't know. One of the two. This will be number three or four. I think this will be number three. <laughs> they don't call me the centipede farmer for nothing. Just kidding. I don't think anyone's ever called me that. But we can pretend for a second. Just you wait till I have um, like better static gear, and I can really kill these centipedes. That wasn't too. That was pretty good. That was pretty fast. Hey, boost speed, magic power, that's not bad. Wolf stat's not super crazy, but that's okay. Well, my plan is to get super geared eventually being, I think this is gonna be a multi-part kind of stream where like the future will be like zero to hero part two, you know, and we'll kind of go from there.
Okay, Steel, let's, let's, uh... <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there could be range, I just haven't gotten any. Check the spot besides the, the pot. Is there something there I missed? I don't know anything about that. Okay, I'll, I'll check. I don't think anything's there. I don't see anything. Oh my god, there is a ring! Oh. Oh, okay, uh, I take back what I said. Okay, never mind. I hit that guy. Was that a fighter? Where the hell did that fighter come from? What just happened? Hold up, that that wasn't the wizard. That was a different class. Yeah, hold on. I, or maybe it was, uh, maybe it was haste. Yeah, you think it was haste, maybe? No, I think it was this guy. You just hit. Up big time there, buddy. Yeah, goofed up big time, sir. Sorry. I can't wait too long. Okay, I'm getting a little nervous because I don't want to die to the circle. I need to be like, okay, hold on. I need to be really quick here. Like, really quick. Like, I don't have time to lose this stuff, man. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for the loot. Please don't be taken. I would cry. Okay, we're good. Not worth it. A little bit of extra gold ain't worth it, man. Not on goblin caves. <laughs> Not on goblin caves, man. Yes, sorry, 15? Let's go. All right, guys, we can finally start playing the game. Let's go. <laughs> all right, I, I don't know about you all, but I'm ready to start playing the game. All right, just give me, I'm, it's gonna take me a little, a little minute to set up, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Alright, so first things first. I am going to get rid of the surgical kits. I think I might just use the regular trade shop for these. I need the space. And surge kits should sell pretty quick in trade. This is probably the only time I'm going to use trade shot. Is just to get rid of these. And I'll do... 
they, they should sell. At least I think they will. I don't want to sell these individually because they might not. It might take a little while. I will if I have to. It's just the space. If it doesn't, then I'll just go straight to marketplace. It just this this would be easier. But I think but these are. I think this trade is pretty dead at this point, so it's probably not going to happen. Yeah. Oh no! Someone actually accepted it. I said 200, but... No, I did say 250, didn't I? Oh, he saw the first one. Alright. Freebie, I guess. Uh, do I have any more search kits? I have one search kit. Yeah, yeah, it's like 30 people. It's basically dead. I just need the space. That's it. That's fine. We'll, we'll, it's fine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do any more of that. Alright. Uh, first things first, we need to decide what we're gonna sell. I'm going to just kind of throw a bunch of random junk in here and figure out if it's going to be worth selling or not. And then we'll go from there. So let's see. I think lace turn shoot, maybe. I don't know if these are worth selling. Uh, let me check first. I don't think lace is worth selling unless it has move speed buffs or move speed stats. Yeah, it's to see like these are not worth it. So any lace turn shoe that doesn't have move speed is going to get sold. So sold, sold. Gauntlets are not worth selling. I'll check Lightfoot Boots. I'm not sure about those. I don't think Chaperone's that great. I'd rather use uh, the Chappelle. That's okay, but I don't think those are the stats we're really looking for. Alright. Our loose... Alright, are these, are these even worth selling? to find out i don't think they are to be honest yeah 80 nah nah i'd rather just fender all right how about leather caps okay leather caps are worth it looks like they're selling for about 200 a piece on the low end uh, here for so this has been here for three hours, which means this is probably too high. I'm thinking I'm gonna do it right around 200 gold a piece. I I want to make sure my stuff is selling quick. I don't want to I don't want to be sitting here waiting for an excess amount of time for stuff to sell, because that's just it's gonna make the challenge a lot harder because you only have 10 slots total. All right, so that stuff is sold. I'm gonna vendor these boots. That's going to get vendored. Yeah, I'm just going to grab everything. We, we need the... We desperately will need the space here. Alright, so that's going to be vendored. I'm going to keep this. Okay. Uh, heavy leather leggings. Check for this. Uh, looks like purple is about 150. That seems a little low, but my stats are better than these. A lot of 200. I'm just looking for anything that has similar stats to mine. Oh, uh, this has movement speed bonus, which I would say is pretty close to what my stats are giving. So I'm thinking I could probably just do like 199, which is kind of a low ball, but I want to sell it quick. So this is fine. Leather cap's already sold, so I think I made the right call there. This is what I want. I want stuff to sell you know, instantly. I don't, I don't want to wait on it. All right, heater shield purple heater shield what about no stats oh these are actually selling i'm surprised okay so purple even without stats is 248 oh it has physical damage reduction that's actually a low ball mm, i could cancel that but eh, i'll just give someone a good deal that this could be sold for more for sure but it's okay it's fine it's not that big of a deal All right, how about a cultist pants? Yeah, my dreams have come true. Not having to sit and trade chat. It's a miracle. Yeah, cultist pants are useless. So I'm just going to vendor these. So, vendor, vendor, keep, keep. Chris Dagger. 
Wow, Chris Daggers have really fallen too. I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah, anything that's like low value like that is just gonna get trashed. Alright, Shadow Mask. But it does have a bigger stat, which is really good for Rogue. So I am gonna add the bigger to it. Uh, it's blue though, right? Yeah, it's blue. Has double good though. Warlocks would use this with knowledge. Two vigor. All these have one. Mine's better than these. Two vigor, two vigor. Yeah, I feel like my double roll makes it better than most of these, but I don't know how many people are looking for double rolls. It's probably not that high. I'm going to do it right around 248. I think it's a little bit undercut, but I think that's okay. I just want to make sure it sells quick. Oh, pro tip, if you didn't know, you can grab coin bags, put them in your inventory, and when you collect stuff from the marketplace, it will automatically put it in there, which is very, very useful. Alright, good play. No, not reset. <laughs> I didn't want to hit reset, man. All right, looks like 500 for cheapest, but mine has okay stats. Uh, two knowledge. What does mine have? One vigor. It's really just the vigor. This is like not super great. Maybe just do like five. These are very, very expensive. Uh, I think I'm gonna do 599 for this. I told you that would sell for pretty decent money. All right. I don't even think padded leggings sell right now. I think it's all about the. Uh, I think it's all about the um, loose trousers. Uh, I guess it's not terrible. They're selling for a little bit, but they've been here for a while. You can tell just by like time expire. So this has been here for four hours, 12 hours. So no one's buying padded leggings. This is probably not even worth selling, honestly, just based on the amount of time this stuff has been here for. I, I think I'm just going to not sell this. Marauder. Uh, that's not bad stats. I think rapiers don't really sell. I checked those yesterday. Viking swords might sell, depends. They used to sell a lot when you had the trade chat available, but now that we have this, yeah, see? Collapsed price, man. Stuff that used to be worth selling is no longer worth selling. I bet you even the Falchion might not be worth selling if it's blue. It's crazy. Dude, things are changing so fast with the, the pricing of stuff. Stuff that used to be worth selling and keeping is just not worth it anymore. It's, cr it's crazy to me how much things have changed. In such a short time. I think the Falchion will definitely sell. I'm going to undercut it though. Yeah, things are changing very, very fast. This yeah, stuff's already selling, which is good. Okay, let's try to do a little bit of organizing here. Uh, so do we have any boots that I am personally able to buy? Or not buy, uh, use that have move speed? I think the answer is no. So I'm gonna just vendor that stuff here. I, all this is gonna get vendored, I think. No one's gonna buy boots that have bad stats at this point and wipe, there's, there's just no reason to buy them. All right, what do we need? Uh, protection from me. I just wanna do this before I forget. Okay, so I wanna buy some gold pouches. Vouch and sold, I figured that. So you see what I mean by the way? So keep bags in your stash or in your inventory 
So you accept the gold, it goes straight to a bag, and you don't have to sit there and right-click everything. Just saves you time. I'd recommend it. So that's gonna get vendored. Heck, I'll, I'll sell this, because I'd rather be more speedy. Yeah, these are selling too. And this has movement speed, which is really good. Uh, not as good as I expected it to be, but it's okay. I'd rather, I'd rather probably sell these. Oh, you know what? Maybe we could keep these as an extra pair. Since we don't have a lot of extra pairs of these. Yeah, that's fine. We can keep these as extra. I think that's okay. Are there no green rings of courage? That's wild. What? There's not a single green ring of courage? There's no way. Okay, I was gonna say, that had to be a messed up thing, right? Okay, that makes way more sense. Alright. So I'm gonna sell this for like, I don't know, 249 is fine. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no shot. <laughs> there's no way. All right, Ox Pendant with additional damage. Just none available. Oh, uh, you know, are people even gonna buy this? I feel like no one's gonna search for this item. I feel like Pendants don't really sell. I don't know, It's it's hard to say. Uh, okay, so instead of checking for rarity, let's just check for regular attribute with plus. There's none on the market at all. Maybe people are buying them. I don't really know what this is worth. Uh, I'm just going to throw a random price out here and we'll just see if someone buys it or not. If no one buys it, then I'll just take it off the market and that's perfectly fine. It's not the end of the world. Oh, is it true damage? Oh, did I do? Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Oops. I see now. I see what you mean. Uh, I think the price I did is still fine because I got a double roll. Well, yeah, maybe that was a mistake. That was kind of high, huh? I'll, I can always, I can always take it out later. I'll, I'll let it sit for a minute since I already paid the money. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that was the wrong one. Okay, so what do we need to do right now? I'm going to go ahead and start buying gear. Just so we're not sitting here doing only trading. Uh, so first things first, I need a magic staff. Preferably epic quality. Uh, 400. I mean, it's the price you got to pay, right? With what? Plus six fizz. Plus six fizz is not bad. That's okay. Rather do magic damage bonus. Oh, you know what? Magic damage bonus is probably better. Plus magic. Buff debuff. Yeah, well, this one's fine. Oh, it didn't. 
select. Okay, hold up. All right, lace turn shoe. We need move speed add. Let's check for epic. So that's 300. What, for four move speed total? Okay, so how about blues? So four, five. Okay, how about blues? Plus three, plus three, plus four. This is pretty good. That's a pretty good pair of shoes. What's our speed right now? 104. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, we need a chapel. Chapel idea fur with additional magic. This is pretty darn good. That's that's three good rolls. Dexterity, will, and magic. That's great. Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, so what else do we need at this point? Anything else? We have Chapelle. Additional magic on rings would be nice too. It's already been so. That's that's kind of sad. <laughs> that's kind of upsetting. Uh, these are not bad. This has move speed. I'm just thinking of how much I need here. So I think it's I think if we just focus on the trinket, and yeah, maybe maybe we, it's fine. Let me just go for this instead. Uh, what is it called? Phoenix Joker? This is pretty good. I think we go with this. So we'll keep the move speed from the cloak. So that means we're at five magic damage right now. It's not this, but I think it's okay for a start. I think it's not bad. I think I might just buy a club and then we'll just play a game and see how it goes. We don't need to be full this yet. All right, I think this is good enough for now. All right, so we're at 105 percent speed with three with five additional damage so we're about halfway to where i want to be uh, but we do have a lot of move speed here the only thing left would i guess probably be to buy a better ring but this should work out still pretty well uh it's just whichever number ends up being higher being there's nothing special that's all it is All right, let's just play a game with this build, and then I might slowly kind of build up as we keep playing. Let me just buy some healing, and we'll be good. Oh, a chest piece, too. I should probably- I should buy a chest piece at this point. For sure, I should buy a chest piece. It's been- it's been long enough. I wasn't even thinking about that. So, what? Uh, chest? Cloth? Uh, what kind do we want? Could do frock for dexterity. Honestly, dexterity is pretty darn strong. The only thing better would be the uh, occultist, but occultist is way more expensive. Or not occultist. Um, oh, shoot, whatever the one with knowledge is. I'm like forgetting the name of it. I I don't know why I can't think of the name of it. Oracle. That's it. Oracle. Yeah, like, I could get some trashy plus knowledge, which is fine and all, or I could just go for, like, a better version of a frock, which gives me better stats, and honestly, dexterity is pretty good for me. Yeah, with magic power, too. That's really good. Yeah, let's do this. 
Yeah, that's, that's great. Five magic power and dexterity. So that's going to put my action speed at, what, 10? 10% 10 not bad. That's not bad. I can deal with that. 104% speed. Definitely could be a little bit faster here, but I think it's okay. Uh, like, we're not full on, you know, bis or anything. But this is, this is definitely, like, starting to slowly become better. The only thing I'll check on before I start a game is I'll just check if there's any reasonable pair of uh, loose trousers with Boosie. But I think they're all going to be very expensive. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. Yeah, that's a little bit absurd. I think my money's better off waiting a little bit until more of our stuff sells, and then we'll focus on that. Yeah, let's just stick with this for now. Okay, uh, let's see how this goes. All right, we got a little bit of a kit together. Hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we have good games now. Well, you can't get additional magic damage on a frock, so it doesn't matter, Luke. It doesn't work that way. So we're doing what, 90? Okay, 90's not bad. No, this isn't permadeath, Kappa. No, this is more, uh, if this was permadeath, I would make, like, full bis. This is more just, more just playing the game from start to finish. Alright, so 90 damage staff. There's definitely room for improvement, but I think it's a pretty good start. We got a lot of the, uh, the you know, micromanagement stuff out of the way from hitting 15. Well, only certain gear slots can roll different stats. A frock cannot roll additional magic damage, whereas a chapel can. You need additional magic damage, but you have to roll the specific gear that has those. So. Well, hey, we can play a lot more aggressively now than we were before, so that's really great. Alright, I think I'm going to focus on only red centipedes and PvP at this point. Alright, well I might need to hold up a quick second. I don't, I don't want to get aggro by the uh, nightmare mage while he's fighting. I'll push there in a minute. Chaperone's not good, man. Chapel's better because it gives you agility. The, the will stat's not worth it, man. Dude, he still has... He might just die. I'm gonna just watch him for a minute. This, I'm, I mean, this guy might perish. I don't know. He's, he's living his best life over here. This man has so many mobs. Chaperone does look pretty goofy. Oh my god, look at the mobs. They're charging him, man. He's got so many. Oh my god, look at him, man. Oh my god. You think he's gonna- you think he can do it? You think he'll be able to clear these mobs? Or is he gonna die to the Nightmare Mage? Oh. <laughs> I think he's gonna die. Are you gonna push me? This is- I, I'm, I'm having way too much fun watching this guy try to kill all these mobs. I don't know why. Heal him? What do you mean heal him? What do I look like? A PvE player? Or-
Alright, he's out of his misery. You guys happy? See what happens when you're geared? It's like a, it's a different game, guys. I'm literally playing a different game now that I'm geared. It's crazy. It's it's like Is it? It's just a different game. I'm not even that geared, but it doesn't matter. I, I meet the gear requirements to be able to play the game as cleric now. I should sit down and get my spells before I loot. Just in case. But you know, that, that's all you gotta do for cleric. I, I feel like the, the build-up to this fight shows how much of a difference. I just spent level 1 to 15 having to kill PvE and slowly grind my way up. And then I built a mid-kit. And I am now fast enough to just be able to, like... I'm, I'm, I'm just, that's it. You just need a mid kit and then you can play cleric. There you go. Doesn't mean we can't die and we're also not biss, but it, it does make a big difference, man. This guy was not that geared, but. But before our gear upgrades, this guy would have been really hard to kill. I'm not even kidding. It doesn't matter what gear they have. Ungeared cleric is just a miserable experience. I don't care if they have white gear or gray. It's still tough. I mean, not like super tough, but you, you know what I'm trying to say, right? Those are good boots. Damn, hit me already. But yeah, I hope, uh... Yeah, I hope anyone who's trying to play Cleric and has been stuck at, like, the early game stages where you don't really have gear and you're wondering why you're struggling so much, I hope this kind of gives you an idea of, like, how much of a difference it makes. It, it really does make a difference, though. I don't like using Smite for PvE because you never know when a player might come up to you. Using Smite on PvE is kind of bait, to be honest. Just take the extra, like... Half a second to, uh, to kill it. It's a it's a misplay to use smite for PVE. Learn troll? Uh, I prefer to just counter troll to be honest. I've, I've done troll before, it's just not fun to do because half the time there's like a whole team there. I, I'd rather just counter it. I'd be pretty well at that. Here's the thing, uh, keep in mind that mobs have natural magic resist. It's gonna help a little bit. I, I don't know, man. I, I kind of feel like it's better to just to just not use smite because you never know when someone might come up to you, man. You never know. When you least expect it, and if you don't have smite for a fight, you are so mega screwed. You are so screwed, it is not great. It's not good because the will doesn't matter as much as other stats still. And also the uh, ma the uh, physical resistance to headshot is very bad. I promise you it's not great. Chapel is better because it's it's giving you agility, which is also going to be increasing your speed anyway. It's not because you don't want will. Agility is better than will. Agility's better than will, and the uh, headshot reduction matters. So. Yeah, but you're, again, the headshot reduction isn't as much, right?
I think Chef L gives you like. I don't even know. I just, I just know it's very low. I don't know the exact, but it's pretty low. 5%? I think it's like 3. I think it's like 2.5%, right? I feel like it's it's like the equivalent of wearing almost nothing. And headshot reduction is a pretty big deal. Five compared to ten. It's a little bit closer of a gap than I expected. Aren't you going for him, dude? There we go. Yeah, go attack the barb. Shoo. <laughs> that is pretty cheap for a shop room, that's true. Can't deny that one. He's still down here. He was pretty aggressive. I feel like he is. Oh, he's still fighting it. All right, once this goo's gone and I can go through, it's all right. Gone, sir. Not today. Not today. Yeah, this guy's scary and too crazy. I want to go check the uh, other dip. Yeah, that, that worked out pretty well. All right, is there a single person in here who does not agree with me that cleric is one hundred and twenty-five percent gear based? Like, you see me playing right now. I was not playing like this in the first 15 levels. It's a complete, it's a different game, man. It's crazy. Nutty, man. Nutty. I don't know what this guy was doing. Being silly, I guess.
off the torch. Yeah, I mean, I could, but it's fine. The torch is like 10 gold. It's, it's not a big deal. It's just a little campfire. So whatever. Oh my god, move speed. Oh, that's like this. That's really good. Wait, did I not grab the spell book? I meant to grab the book. Did I forget it? Shoot. I didn't grab the book. That, oh, I forgot the book. Oh, I forgot the book. Oh, misplay. I forgot it. I, I meant to grab it. I know it was good. I meant to grab that book. Oh, that's such a misplay. It's like 300 gold. Yeah. That's a that's actually really annoying that I missed that. I meant to... I did... I really meant to grab that. That really sucks. Oh, well. It is what it is. I meant... I really did mean it, though. That's, that's actually, that's kind of upsetting. Damn. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a, I'm a little sad for, I'm a little sad for just not grabbing that. I feel kind of stupid. Hold on, let me do a little bit of micromanaging first. Let me let me just clear up my uh, my stash is not that big, man. My stash is very small. Uh, let me just yeah, just give me a second. I'm doing this so when I collect my gold, it will automatically move. So I have a lot of gold to collect. buy the unique cape well let's hold up man let's <laughs> one step at a time man do people even use longbows anymore i feel like they don't no they don't okay that's useless pretty sure the falchions were like 100 gold right oh no, the, okay, those are just super undercut. This this will sell for 99. I just sold one. Occultist boots with miz, with uh, move speed. I think occultist boots are quite good. Move speed add. Yeah, that's what I figured. I figured these would sell for at least 200. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I don't. It's fine. And I'll keep these gloves for myself. I really, I'm a little mad at myself for not grabbing that, uh, for not grabbing that spell book, but it's okay. It's alright. What's my speed right now? 105's not bad. If I could just find better rings... I feel like I would be better set. I feel like this stuff isn't... I feel like this is just going to get vendored, to be honest. I don't think anyone cares about Rings of Resolve, right? Yeah, you can also tell by the timer. Yeah, this is, I'm not going to sell this. This is not worth it. Uh, how about survival rings? Do people care about these? Probably not, right? I feel like uh, survival is kind of, like, no one cares about. Yeah, maybe people do care about it. 
I'll, I'll list it and I'll undercut it by a lot and it might sell. I don't know. I'll just sell it cheap. Yeah, Will's really not super great at all, truly. I think I overpriced this Ox Pendant, but it's okay. We'll just look up Ox Pendant with, uh, with all stats. Maybe 197? Yeah, that's fine. I definitely overpriced this one, <laughs> but it, it's okay. Maybe maybe we'll get lucky and it'll just randomly sell. All right, do we want to? Do I want to specifically do anything to this kit right now? There is some stuff that we really could upgrade. Like, yeah, maybe the rings. Yeah, maybe the rings. Hey, that's pretty good. <sighs> Damn. That was a real that was really good too. Damn, that's uh that's pretty sad. That was really good. Oh. I think that's why it's gone. <laughs> it's gone because it's yeah. Okay. <sighs> Should I just wait? These are okay. I just don't know if our kit, if it's worth buying these yet. Like, it's okay. I kind of want to get a third stash tab, but it kind of, it might mess with the money for my challenge. I'm just going to play this next game, and then I'll think about what I want to do. I, I kind of want to get a third stash tab for space, but maybe that's a waste of money. But if I'm going to play this character longevity-wise, I kind of want to get that first, just so I, I don't feel as cluttered and I can start kind of organizing better because it's really hard to organize with only two stash spaces it's it's not easy or with only one space i mean it's just it's hard so i'm just gonna stick with with this for now i've also already done really really well with selling a bunch of gear yeah that would be nice too to not have to waste like 50% of my total gold on like plus two magic damage from like one ring. That would be great. Because they're very, very expensive, it seems like. I do want it though, but. Where am I at? 54, 38. So that's what, 92? 92 hits really not that bad for this and 38's magic. It's not terrible. Drip check? Yeah, dude, we're drip. We're drip. We're drift. Kinda. A little bit. Cloak could be better, but plus three move speed's really good. I think if I could get a agility cloak with additional magic damage, that'd be better. Yeah, the better staff, yeah, that's on the list too, for sure. For sure. It was just something I bought because I didn't really have a lot of gold left over. Yeah, good staves are getting very, very expensive. All right, so I'm not going to do any of the... Ch I'm not going to loot anything except for centipedes and players, I think. I think I'm going to stick to that. Because if we get a good ring, we'll just get so much value out of them. So I don't even think it's worth taking the time. I don't think it's worth taking the time to loot like anything except those. The meta jumping wizards like me yesterday? Yeah. Of course. Tell you what, no one's meta jumping to cleric. That's for damn sure.
I'll grab boxes too. These are just worth grabbing, I think. Never know. That's a pretty good roll, but it's not good enough because you want additional damage. But that would be good if uh, it had that roll. It's still not even bad. But... Yeah, Pizza. Well, I couldn't do that earlier, Dell, because I needed the XP and I needed the gear to actually kill players. But now that I have a decent set, I can more confidently do my, uh, you know, my PvP runs and my centipede runs. Oh, I should be going for center, huh? Yeah, I should be going for center. I should check the spiders, because they could have spider soaks too. Nice wizard emoji, man. shot. He didn't die to three hits. He'll cheat it. Cannot believe he survived that third hit. That's nuts. What's my magic power at, man? Oh, negative? Oh, shoot. I should probably get that to being positive, huh? That's pretty important. Uh, okay. I need to get a pair of strength gloves, I think. Or physical power bonus on my weapons. One or the other. Like, yeah, like physical power, not bonus. I didn't realize I was that low. You don't want to be minus 8%, man. That's not good. You gotta be at least zero. I'll fix it next game. Okay, so that's clear, but he didn't loot the chest. It could be a rogue here. Because why would you not loot the chest? That just seems silly. I'm gonna wait a second for in this. I'm gonna pretty buff him like that. Unlucky. Get my holy strikes back and then we'll loot. Well, PvP is more important than centipedes, so always go for the PvP first. Because they could always come back later and try to kill me while I'm centipeding. Last night's argument collapsed. Uh, which argument? with range no it didn't cleric doesn't have any range dude don't even don't even try to don't even try to tell me cleric has range dude come on man it's because i got a sick holy strike hit man
really need to heal. Wait till he runs off and I'll use the shrine. There we go. Just in case we get third party, we need to be full health. Fly into your cells for telling me that cleric's the best thing to do. Ow. Oh, he's behind the head? He can't touch me here. I really need this thing to. later. I mean he can't he can't get to me so he can have fun doing whatever the hell he wants to do there. Oh my god double speed roll? It's pretty good. Vitality ring. I feel like wind lockets are so useless. I don't think anyone would ever buy that. I don't know, I'll look, but I don't think that's any good. Yeah, no, no, I know. Eight eight percent fizz is a really big deal. I, I need to get I need to get my strength to fifteen, or I need to get fizz power. I have to. I don't have a choice. It's 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 hurting me too much for these uh, centipedes and stuff. Plus, you never know. I might need the club for PvP, and I don't want to be doing eight percent damage minus. So that's a big deal. And the staff too. I mean, even staff uh, damage is a big deal. Killing centipedes 10% faster is pretty good. Do I want? No, I don't want anything. This is a challenge character. I'm only buying stuff from the auction house. I'm not taking handouts. Hey, by the way, did we have 50 likes? If we're at 50 likes, I'm giving away more gear. I didn't check. It. I'll check after this. Yeah, rings definitely feel like the way to go. If you get like one good, really well, like if you get one really good ring, you're just gonna get so much profit. 64. Oh shoot. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'll um, I'll do, I'll do a giveaway after this game, alright? I'll be. No, should have told me. Should have, should have told me. I didn't know. It's okay. How do I do the giveaway? Uh, I do it through chat, basically just ra like I just have people pick a random number and I just kind of choose somebody. Nothing too, nothing too fancy or anything. YouTube doesn't have like a giveaway bot. I have a giveaway bot in my Discord, but it's kind of hard to use like in the middle of stream, so I just do it the old-fashioned way. Oh, yeah, yeah, I should do that strength ring over back today. Probably so. I was kind of, I was so focused on killing this other centipede that I kind of wasn't even thinking about changing up my gear. Hold up. Free strength. Or the knowledge, because this is true, true damage, but... I'm missing a lot of damage just from not having the strength, so. And knowledge is pretty good. It's like, do I want three knowledge and a little bit of HP? Or do I want two true damage? Probably the damage, but.
Wow, that's a pretty scripted portal. Sure. Yeah, sure, bud. Take it. I'll absolutely take the, uh, I'll absolutely take that freebie, man. I have no shame. Yeah, Eric, just give me a second. Let me organize just a little bit, and then we'll, uh, I'll do some, I'll do the giveaway, all right? Not giving away from this character, because this character is, uh, is his own thing, but I'll, I'll go to my, uh, I'll go to my main cleric and give away some stuff. Uh, this is fine for now. Here, let me, uh, I really need a second stash tub. Mm, scared did I sell? Oh, shit, I have a lot of gold. Hold up. It's way more than I was expecting. We almost have enough for our third stash job already. Very good. All right, here. All right, fellas. I'm going to put a number in the chat to guess between. Whoever gets it first, I'll give, like, an inventory of just, like, random decent, like, gear and money. All right? Oh, shoot, you got it. Del got it. I guess I fast again, man. Yeah, GG, Del. You, uh, you won? I'll give you your stuff if you are. Also, remember, I'll do another giveaway at 75 as well. So, when we get the 75 likes, I'll do another one. I think I'm pretty close, too, so... Alright, yeah, Del. If you're online, I'll give it to you. Del, was that a uh, was that a yes? Will you will you uh, will you be able to take this now, or do I need to wait a little bit? You are okay. Meet me in a uh, misc, all right? Okay, yeah, I got you. I got you, man. There ain't no bias, man. The only bias is the number eleven. <laughs> That's your bias. I have any decent like gear. Here, you know what? Do what you want with it. <laughs> it's all yours, Ben. Yeah, yeah, Callum. I um Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look into getting a uh, a dual stream working properly. And then we'll start doing that. I'll, um, I'll look into OBS. I'll look into OBS so we can start doing that, man. Alright. Uh, we're pretty much shut up, right? We're only missing 2% fizz. That's not that bad. Oh, yeah, and it's in 1.3 from the club we get, so that's okay. Alright. Uh, we good? Yeah, let's go ahead and run another game. 
Doing pretty good, Goop. So the first level 1 to 15 was primarily just... Was pretty much just going through and PvE farming. You know, getting our levels, getting some money. Now that we have a, like a... we don't. It's not a biss kit, but now that we have a better kit going and we're getting a little bit faster speed, we're able to start taking more engagements and we're doing pretty well. This is the point where we try to start snowballing our gear. Cyclops? Nah, man. I'm trying to. I'm trying to fight players, man. I'm not trying to fight Cyclops on cleric. If I want to do Cyclops, I'm pretty sure Bard is the way to go, right? I prefer fighting players over bosses, to be honest with you. I've killed Troll a few times, but I kind of just prefer. I prefer just taking gear from the players instead, for the most part. Is that true? The Cyclops okay on Cleric? That might be true, but I I don't really know how to fight him right now. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't have to fight Cyclops. I've never even looked at I've, I've never even looked at anything on him. Why do I use blue pots? Sometimes you might need more than just five protections. You never know. Having additional blue pots isn't necessarily bad to have. I, I mean, I guess I could sell them for money. That might be a better use, honestly, since I get free protection pots anyway. Cave troll is super easy. I don't know if I'd agree with that. Just clear. Oh wait, dead mob? How is there a dead mob down here? Did he fall? That's weird. how much faster that was with the uh, additional strength. Makes a big difference, man, I'm telling you. Oh. How did you die? To a mob? Probably. That's, that's, that's why that goblin was there.
Yeah, dude, I, I really do think centipedes is just way better to go for than any loot on the map. I don't know exactly how much we've gotten from rings so far, but I just imagine just getting like one really good ring. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not like super great, but it's okay. Wizards might want that. I mean, I could use that, but I kind of want the move speed, but that, that's... I could definitely sell that, for sure. Oh, Jesus, dude. I thought I cleared this, but I guess not. Yeah, I thought I cleared these mobs already. I'm just gonna choose not to fight these. I popped up on the wrong side. Uh, I might head towards the troll area. See if anyone's doing troll. Probably a good idea. We're still in pretty low rank, so it's not completely guaranteed that we get we'll find one, but it's worth checking. Yeah, the rubber banding's better, but it's not perfect. Agreed. For sure. Hopefully they can get it to a, a completely working point sometime soon, though. It'd be nice. Oh, someone is doing troll. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, we're going for a counter. Yeah, I've tried divine protection. I'm not a fan. I don't think it's good. It's like, it has like a very niche use, but any player with a brain will not let you kill them because you have to be PDR Cleric for Divine Protection. And I think it makes you too slow. If I'm gonna play Cleric, I'm gonna play Fast Cleric. I don't wanna be slow. Just gonna sit here for a minute. No rush. Yeah, I think it's naked rogue, so should be a pretty it should be a relatively easy kill. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's naked rogue, for sure. I know the the thought process, but I don't think it's actually good. It's too cooldowns too long. It takes so long to wait for divine for it to come back. I'm waiting for him to go into the free pile, yeah. There we go. He probably went in biz, so I'm gonna wait a second. This is what you gotta do against rogues. When you try to push, if you, if you like, you know he's in biz right now. So you wait 20 seconds and then push. Oh, it's not a... Oh, you were just one shot. Alright, well, he's dead. GG. 
I did not expect the halberd. I was not expecting the halberd from him, but sure, I guess. Yeah, GG, man. Hey, this is really good. Uh, I don't have time for the door. Well, I mean, I guess I can check it, but, like, the, the timer, it, it's gonna be really risky, because I have to get into the circle. I can't wait too long. Yeah, because the cleric interaction speed is really, really low. It just, it takes so long for a cleric to use this pile. I, I, you really don't have a lot of time to dilly-dally in this map. I just, I gotta, I gotta focus on getting into the circle. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a quick check, but I, I can't wait too long. Yeah, yeah, it's the, yeah, I gotta find a portal and I gotta leave. I got, yeah. You don't, you just, it's, Cleric just interacts with this thing so slow, man. I'm not- I don't know if I'm willing to risk the static in the storm. If I try to go for static and it's already taken, I'm screwed. So I'm probably gonna pass on that. Yeah, I gotta- dude, I'm getting nervous. It's- it, it's- it's- I really don't like being this deep in the storm on this map. It's, it really sucks doing this. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta book myself there, man. I do not have enough time. Like, it, the, this map is not very friendly with end circles. And I, I'm not dying because of circle. That would be stupid. Nah, I'm just gonna grab what I can and I'm gonna get out of here. I'm not, I'm not waiting here longer than I have to. Dude, I don't even. Dude, the, the door is not open. I'm, I'm done. We need. We don't even have time, man. I gotta go. Dude, I, I'm way too deep this time. Way too deep. I don't care about the door. Yeah, I literally. I, I honestly don't care about the door. I'm like so deep in circle. I'm not chancing the static. It's just I just die if the static's not. Why would I do that? Why would I why would I risk the static and then die if it's not there? That's just ridiculous. You could do that on your runs, but I'm not doing that on mine. I'm also getting a ton of rubber banding. It didn't open Dude. Man, why are you even aggroed? How did you come from? So dumb. <clears throat> you guys, deep in circle, so trash, man. This map, man. I hate this map sometimes. So far in circle, man. 
I'm, I'm getting all this rubber banding too, so it's just taking even longer. Here, I'll check. I'll check this. Th I'll check this. Th Dude, you see this? I can't even play. I'm just. Crazy. Thank God, get me out of this goddamn game. I'm literally rubber banding like every three seconds, dude. I I, I think I've I think I've rubber banded like ten times. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Could I rubber band any more? Well, third stash time, because I don't have enough space. All right, well, there it is, third stash. Cool, there you go, guys. Well, fellas, I am, I want to get off and make dinner and stuff. Uh, let me see, did we hit 75 likes? If we did, I'll do one last giveaway before I get off. Uh, let me think. So, here's the plan. Here, I'm gonna do a little bit of organizing before I leave. So, here's the plan. I think the next time I stream, we'll continue this cleric run. And we'll kind of call it just, like, part two. And we'll go from there. Because I think things have gone pretty well. Now that we have a second stash tab, I can more... I can more easily organize. Uh, maybe I'll do some organizing off stream as far as the market goes. And get everything sold. Maybe. Just so you don't have to watch me sell everything. Um, and then we'll kind of keep going from there. How many portals? Uh, not a lot. Not a lot. I don't know. Well, like two. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's really low. It's really, really risky. Do uh, It's really risky to just play goblin caves in general right now, to be honest. Yeah, I would recommend if you if you find a static portal that's open in Goblin Caves, just do it. All right, I'll do one more. I don't know about like I'm just I'll do, we'll do one more giveaway before I get off, regardless. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's just do it. All right, I'm going to do one more. I'm gonna put it thing in the chat and then I'll give some more gear out. We got it. 13. GG, man. Captivating, are you currently available to accept your, uh, to accept the golden stuff? If you're available, I'll give it to you right now. Yeah, GG. Yeah, congrats, man. Your whiz cats? Okay, meet me in the uh, weapons trade, okay? <laughs> That's a funny name. You're a wizard cherry. I like it. You don't have enough gold, whiz cats. Do you have a different do you have a different account? A different character? You need 15 gold, man.
Oh, you think I'm done with just this? <laughs> you thought I was done with this? All right, congrats everybody, and thank you for being here on the stream. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all. I'll catch you later. The next time I stream, I might try to do a dual Twitch stream. I'll see how that goes. If I do, uh, I'll let you guys know, and we'll figure it out from there, okay? All right, so thank you guys all. I'll catch you later, all right? Have a good night.